Hi, Voss Channel. How are you guys doing? And welcome to Endless Suburbia, as well as a bunch of other horror games. It's indie game night. We're playing like four different indie games. This first one is actually the most experimental one. I just wanted to start with this one because it seemed very interesting. It is a liminal space suburb suburban driving game so you're driving through the suburbs in the u.s this is like immediately clearly u.s suburbs I've never seen places like this where i live um and you're getting in in or uh abducted by aliens or something like that while this is happening i don't know how that's gonna work out but we're gonna see i don't know if we're gonna see another living person in this game or if it's all just gonna be uh aliens or if we even see the aliens at all i have no idea we're gonna find out and then uh it should be i think all the games we're playing are like exactly an hour long uh, which is perfect so even if one is bad uh worst case scenario we waste like 30 minutes on it um psycho's daughter is fine psycho's daughter is fine by the way also it's psycho's birthday today happy birthday psycho uh, sending my digital happy birthdays over there um he and I think his daughter is fine too, which I think is the best birthday gift gift that he could have been given. Yeah, everything is all right. No worries from our side anymore. Uh, it was just a bit of a shock, I think. I think it was mostly just uh, daughter swallowed some plastic, hospital got the plastic out, and that was it. So I mean, that's always scary when a child swallows something because you never know what they do. They, they don't. It's not like they're gonna explain to you like, yeah, I swallowed this battery. <laughs> Like, they don't know. They just, they, they, they can barely speak. Child gonna be a child. Uh, I think restart game. I'll click the restart game button here. The sound a little too loud, maybe. I think it is a little too loud. Let me turn it down. Oh, it can't turn it down. All right, we're gonna turn it down this way then. Just for the intro. I don't think the game is gonna be loud after this. All right, <clears throat> let's just so guys go say hi, YouTube. And just have some fun. Wait, I need to actually make sure that I catch some of these subs because uh it's hard for me to see that let me open it over here because you guys are going crazy calm down man i really hope that for the seven days to die enjoyers that i'm going to be able to fix this issue i was trying my best all day to record some seven days to die the game has crashed 23 times while i was recording it was probably the most frustrating day i've had doing anything for youtube ever um Hopefully we'll be able to fix it. <laughs> Danny, thank you for the gift sub, the Santos. You, that shows you, I, and every time I was like, okay, it crashed again. Let me try another bug fix from the internet. It's just that there's so many things that have been, or that can go wrong in that game that like, I'm slowly but surely making my way through all the possible bug fixes. Um, this and Talis, thank you for the 23. Rex Durant, thank you for the 5. Lidstone with the 22. Randall with the 3. Featherburb with the 13. Jin with the 4. Ducky plays with the sub. Hyperactive with the 4. Horse Gal with the 12. Dennis with the 12 as well. Raven with the 3. Q Tip with the 6. Uh, Kiri with the tw tier 2 25. Kippers with the 13. Visible Scott with the 23. Urban with the 15. Thank you guys so much. Server Wizard as well with the 23. I kid, you guys are crazy. Uh, Disco, Disco Noir with the four. Uh, luckily, it's only that game that is crashing. No other games. Because I've even tried Streamlabs on that recording, and it wasn't Streamlabs. It was just, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I think it's Direct X 11 after looking at the crash reports. But we're going to be with that. Whatever. It's fine. I'll fix it out by myself. You don't have to worry about that. I might just be a little bit more annoyed today than usual. Usually, <laughs> I can be a bit annoyed sometimes. But anyway, let's go say hi, YouTube. Hop in here. Have a great time. <clears throat> Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Endless Suburbia. This is gonna be a bit of an experimental horror game. I saw this one on Steam, basically completely unknown uh, horror game. No one has basically played it. It is a liminal space driving game where you're driving around a suburban neighborhood in the US and there's aliens that are gonna be showing themselves in some ways. I don't know how, maybe they'll be around windows, maybe they'll be flying in the sky. I don't know exactly how it's gonna work, but it's gonna be fun and just interesting. I love liminal space games. They give me this really creepy feeling and I hope to get that from this game as well. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Well, let's hop into the game, let's go. Alrighty, here we go. I need to turn back on the volume. I'm just gonna keep it normal. Normal volume might be a little loud. Maybe actually quiet. We'll see. Alrighty. Um. Oh god. Loud start. Here we go. Start. Oh. 
we're going uh hello there i'm in a car this is looking mighty fine my car actually gonna work i my speedometer is broken i'm gonna get arrested um excuse me i need to quickly check is there any frame wait frame rate limit i might have to turn this down to epic instead because it is lagging a little bit we're going vroom vroom i'll do v-sync as well that might sometimes help oh there we go that's much better uh hello okay um i can't really look at my rear view mirrors i hope we'll be okay so yeah i don't know how much uh this is what's gonna happen here but i just saw it and the fact that it, i love liminal space games and the fact that no one had really played this made me want to just be the first one to like check it out and see what's going on here i hate driving irl um it's kind of crazy that you guys in the US have these type of roads for just your regular neighborhoods. You guys really be, I don't think I have to pay attention to the road at all because I don't think there's going to be anyone else driving here. Uh, although I would like to avoid crashing. I'm also not going to stop at the stop signs. I mean, that's regular US drive. I'm just, I don't know why I'm already shitting on you guys. You guys are totally fine, by the way. <laughs> uh, you can't immediately see this is like a different I, i'm never i've never been in a neighborhood like this outside of the us these like concrete uh sidewalks are so like indicative of like canadian or us neighborhoods i don't really know where i'm going by the way oh that's a nice mountain how fast can we go is it getting darker i think the time is actually moving I wish my rear view mirror worked. I'm feeling kind of, can I walk? I can look all the way behind me. You probably look in front of me. I'm be glad that the cars in real life are not being controlled by WASD keys or everyone will be crashing all the time more than they already do. Yeah, I barely drive ever. I drive in some beat up uh, Peugeot. I don't even know if you American viewers will know what that brand is. Um, oh, it's actually getting dark. We're seeing uh, the stars come out. Beautiful place. Nope, you don't know that brand. It's a French brand. Oh, excuse me. Are those aliens up there? I think we found the aliens or maybe they found us. Oh, they're everywhere. Hi there, friends. Is there's, oh my God, there's so many. Um. It's like that one. Did you guys have? I've told it before, but I found it. I found it such a cool anecdote. I will repeat it every time I have the chance. There was one time in, I think it was the U.S. city of Phoenix. I don't know exactly the town. Maybe it was California, but there was a town where there was a huge blackout for the first time, and because it was the whole, like the whole city was just completely out of power. There was no light pollution anymore. So many people were calling the police because they were scared that they saw white stuff in the sky, which was actually the Milky Way. <laughs> but they had just never seen it before because there was always so much light pollution that they uh, they never saw it before. So they were panicking. They were like, what the hell? There's aliens, dude. There are aliens in the sky. <laughs> it's so good. All right, I'm gonna try and not go in circles too much. I don't even know if there's anywhere I have to go because the game is called Endless Suburbia. Can I turn on my headlights? I can, okay. There we go. What the music though. This is got this is a vibe right here. I don't use that word very often. There is too many damn aliens. Unless these are just stars, but I can't really lean Oh, I can lean forward. Um Hi. Hello guys. You guys gonna abduct me? It's just stars. Manic, thank you for the five gift subs. There is this, um... What do you call them? They're like uh, protesters in the Netherlands that are uh, sitting on the highway every single day. <laughs> like literally every single day. Excuse me. They will sit on the highway to like uh, protest carbon emissions. And then they'll be like blasted off by the police. And then they'll do it again the next day. <laughs> like every single day. The damn dedication. I'm gonna go this way. I know it's annoying. I never have to drive. I don't have to deal with that shit. Um, are you guys gonna find me? Or should I turn off my headlights? Am I attracting attention to me? I'm gonna try and go this way. 
I'm driving like a maniac right now. I don't know if this is procedurally generated in any way. I feel like it is. I've seen, I'm seeing the same houses over and over again. What is this game about? Don't worry about it. We're just looking at the night sky. Look at these stars. They're beautiful. Some good music or sound design. I mean, yeah, it's definitely... Uh, if you have to drive on that highway... Hey, at least they're doing it on the same highway. As far as I know, they're doing it on the same highway every day. So, um... I mean, it's... What the hell is this? A gazebo in the middle of a... Of a cul-de-sac? I don't think I'm going anywhere. I sh What the fuck? Oh, hello? Um... People are being abducted? Hi, uh, where were you guys coming from? Okay, can I be abducted too? Can I fly? Am I gonna be sucked out of the car? I am not. Okay, this is, um, <laughs> this is concerning. Take me with you. Abduct me from this earth. So there were other people. This is kind of sick. What a weird concept for a game. It's basically like a, like I'm watching a short film right now. There's a lot of people flying. There's just light balls in the sky. Oh God, don't crash myself. They're making creepy noises. I think I'm going to be abducted soon. Time to fly. They believe they can fly. I think they can actually totally fly. The, do the lights go away after they yeah they go away after they suck someone okay they're done sucking no more sucking please what if I just keep do I just keep driving I'm okay uh, ah! hello uh sir excuse me I've been okay, abducted I've been kidnapped why did you actually personally show up for me, though? Couldn't you just suck me out of my car? <laughs> what is going on? I can't see. Uh, I'm flying. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm flying, too. Let's go. Whee! <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm gone. What the? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Excuse me? What happened? Is that it? <laughs> do we do more? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Is something else gonna happen now? That's not the end. There's six different, like, games in this game. There's six different ways we're gonna get abducted, I think. That's at least what it said on the Steam store, unless I've been lied to. What's gonna happen next? They lied to me? I don't think so. That's why there's a, re that's why there's a restart button. So you can go back to the first one. Yeah, there's six different ways we're gonna get sucked. That was the... Maybe I maybe I had to avoid being abducted. Maybe I did it wrong. We're just gonna keep driving. Any... I just don't like driving at all. I don't necessarily mind driving. I think the main thing I hate... I hate parking. Like, I don't mind driving. If I had to just drive from A to B, you give me a car, I step in the car, then I just press, press the gas pedal and stare until I reach my destination and then I just get out of the car in the middle of the road. I wouldn't mind driving. But the fact that you have to like freaking parallel park and shit, that is what is annoying. I don't like that part of driving. Six ways to get sucked. Hey, don't, don't get me demonetized over here. It's this Midtown Madness. There's another game called Beware. So in, is that a duplex? No. Interesting that there's like so little duplexes in these type of neighborhoods. Six different ways to get sucked. I need an explanation. The explanation will hopefully arrive. Unless it's just literally going to be the lights in the skies again, but I'm assuming not. Can you ride off the road? I've, I've read in the steam room. Excuse me. The night just hit me like a truck. Did you see that? I've read in the steam reviews that there's no way to back up. So I'm not going to try and crash my car because if I get stuck, then I get stuck forever. Okay, it is definitely getting... Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a giant spider. Okay, yep, there's definitely other things happening. <laughs> okay. Dude, what a weird game. You just press start again and you're in a different scenario now. What the fuck? 
Oh god. Oh no. No spiders, please. I don't mind spiders. I have a very simple rule with spiders. If the spider is bigger than the palm of my hand, no no. That then it reaches the no-no zone. Anything that's small. I should turn on my lights. Anything that's smaller than that, I am okay with. I mean, there's there's a uh, the palm of my hand is a little too large, but uh spiders. Is that the sound of the spiders? Black widow. I mean, luckily where I live, there's no poisonous spider, so we don't have to worry about that. If you live in the uh, in Australia or something, then you're probably scared of literally every type of insect, in scorpions, spiders, all kinds of stuff is just completely, um, uh, it's all gonna kill you. Why are all these noises, man? Am I gonna be abducted by alien spiders now? Is that where this is going? This is, I like the, like I wanted to play this just because I like playing different style liminal horror games that aren't necessarily all just back rooms. Like back rooms have taken center stage when it comes to liminality, or I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> well, I think I drove over a spider. I think I hit one of them. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> like everyone knows the back rooms and knows, oh, a liminal space game. You mean like the back rooms? No, liminal spaces are way more than just back rooms. It's like familiar spaces that have something just there's just something off about them there's something off about this familiar space i mean especially if you live in the u.s you've probably like literally if you look out your window you see a neighborhood that looks exactly like this maybe that's just like uh i mean i'm probably a little biased in terms of that because you see a lot of that on television like you see a lot of these neighborhoods on on televisions or on the television or on like uh youtube videos and stuff there's probably lots of different places where people live hey psycho here happy birthday psycho <laughs> i was hoping i would spot you today <laughs> happy birthday hope everything is still okay and hope you will have a blessed year we are trying not to die against alien spiders right now i don't really know what i'm doing i'm just holding w and trying not to crash but i'm kind of having a good time can I flip my car? It's got it's it's almost magical that I am everything is fine. Yeah, I'm glad that the your daughter is also fine. I'm kind of um kind of a miracle that I haven't crashed my car yet. Can I flip it over by steering too hard? No, I don't think I can. Is there any more spiders? Have I have I lost the spider shit? Wait, I can park my car here. I this is I was Oh Jesus Christ. Oh hi. Oh hi. Oh, did you see that? I don't I don't know if I even saw it. I saw some kind of spider. Excuse me? Am I being chased? Oh, what the fuck is right behind me? Um Hello? That's a massive spider. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, sir? Why I'm the only one on the road too. He doesn't have anyone else to focus on. What the frick? He's definitely bigger than the palm of my head. <laughs> Too much. The spider roll. Um, I think he's... I mean, if he's gonna be this slow, he can never catch up with me. Go freaking pedal to the wall, man. Go faster. What car are you driving? Oh, you're still there. I think he's going a little faster. Dude, the music in this game is sick, though. Uh oh. They dig out the whole drummer in the back in the back seat. I hope I don't get into a dead end, otherwise I'm gonna get fricked here. Please stop. Uh he's getting closer. Sir. Sir? I wish I could see Wait, where's my rear Oh, there's my rear view mirror. I thought my rear view mirror just fully disappeared. Can I turn on my back lights, please? Is that not a thing this car has? I mean, I guess you can't really like blare, flare up your back lights. That's not really a thing. That would be very dangerous if you could do that. Oh yeah, he's still there. What happens if I just break like crazy? Will I hit him? Wait, what? Wait, he's just chilling. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's walking backwards. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Is he not trying to kill me? Is he just playing with me? Sir, wait, I can't drive backwards. Why did the, the, the Steam comments lie to me? The Steam description said that you couldn't, or the, the Steam... Oh, God. 
Hi. Yep. Okay. I hate it here. I shouldn't have stopped the car, man. <laughs> Dude, what an insane. What is happening in this game? What the fuck? This is so weird. Every time you go back to the menu, you have to click start again. Well, you can already see something is not entirely right now. Um, are we going to be driving around in the rain? Oh. oh, it's already dark to begin with, huh? I don't like that. What an interesting concept. L like, proceed endlessly procedurally generated suburban neighborhoods. And while you're driving, you get abducted by aliens in several different ways. What a strange... Strange video game. Some people are kind of messed up, huh? <laughs> I hate this. Oh, what's gonna happen next? This person is having a rough night. I'm gonna go left wall strats this time. I've been doing right wall strats this whole time. No more. Still need to see me play light blue. Isn't that that rage game that you like spend eight hours trying to beat one time? I still have you ever played granny? I'm challenging you to beat Granny on extreme mode, Psycho. This is a challenge from one man to another. <laughs> well, not on extreme mode. Just beat Granny in general. Not on it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't go on extreme mode. That shit is disgusting. But just beating it. What is that? Um. Excuse me. What's going on over there? Um. That just trees in the distance. Or is just volumetric lighting? I think it's just volumetric lighting. Looks a little strange, though. Not extreme. Yeah. I highly recommend... Gr Granny is, like, one of my favorite horror games of all time. Extreme is not... Oh, hello. There's definitely something going on over there. Um, are the trees... What is this endless road I'm on? Excuse me? No, it's just a tree. It's totally fine. Totally normal. Are we ever going to have a curve? You guys love your right angles in the U.S., don't you? You psychos? You guys never have... Like, where, where are the curved roads? Uh, excuse me, fellow... Fellow driver? Why is the music making this seem very, very scary? I'm being stalked home. Hi. Um, he's gonna be following me. I will just be pedal to the metal. I don't even know if that's a saying. Wait. Oh, he's still there. Put on your headlights, man. You're gonna get hurt. Can I, can I lose him? Can I shake him somehow? I wish this car could go faster than a fucking Toyota Prius. There's lots of curved roads in ma major cities. Is he still there? Oh, yeah, he is. There's someone behind the wheel. Wait a minute. I need to go on a straight. I didn't really see someone. I cannot see the person driving. Oh, God. Don't crash. Dude, I don't know what they did to the soundtrack, but they got a... Trash can? <laughs> Since when are the trash cans on the road? <laughs> that was the first. Did you hit that trash can? What if I would have hit it? Would it have just exploded? Is it actually, is it true that it's legal in the U.S. to go through someone else's trash? That seems like an immense privacy violation. Uh, that is, um, well, fuck me, I guess. Ah! What the fuck was that? Excuse me, there's two cars? What the hell was that? Can I make a turn? Um, hi. Where the fuck did you go? Are you? Huh? <laughs> what? Are you still behind me? Oh, how did you do that? What the fuck? How did he do that? <laughs> how did you get behind me again? <laughs> it's freaking magic. Yeah, you can reverse in this game. <laughs> Dumpster diving in... Dumpster diving in a st in store garbage is illegal? Feels like it should be illegal for any garbage. Like, you could learn a lot about a person to see their garbage. For example, you could learn that I do take out a lot. <laughs> I feel like that's uh, something I don't want people to know. 
maybe I shouldn't say it on a live stream then. <laughs> Same though. Uh, I'm totally fine, right? Exposed. Ah! Well, how the fuck? That's why you don't look behind your kids. This is why you keep your eyes on the roads. I don't know how I even did that. Okay, can you please fuck off, sir? <laughs> Let him cook. Not. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. I love the rain. I hate it when I'm driving, though. Luckily, I got uh, windows that do not get wet in any. Why don't we just. Wait a minute. Hydrophobic windows? Is that five head or am I stupid? <laughs> Why hasn't anyone think, thought of that before? Why hasn't anyone thought of hydrophobic windows? You can't buy stuff like that? Did you know that... I didn't, I know the game is loud as hell, I don't know if you can hear me. But in the UK and London, they have a peeing problem. People keep pissing on the side of buildings. So they have uh, coated the walls with hydrophobic paint so that you piss on your own shoes. <laughs> it's hilarious. So people stop pissing everywhere. <laughs> Classic UK. <laughs> uh, are you still there? Sir, could you fuck off? It's a... Uh, it's a heavy storm. I've only... Like, the US has some insane storms. The US has some insane weather in general. Like... You really be driving around in the US, it starts raining and then you get like a message on your phone, tornado alert, and then you'll see like a tornado go besides you. It's like insane over there. I never see any weather like that ever in my life until I went to the US. <laughs> like we literally, we had to like divert the road. We had to like go left. We wanted to go right. But we were like, all right, let's go left because the tornado is on the right. Fucking annoying. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, God. Ah! Holy shit. Okay, that's a good jump scare. <laughs> Am I even hallucinating? What the fuck was that? Jesus. <laughs> He's still just behind me, huh? Please. Quit hitting myself? It wasn't me. There's no one else out here, man. It's just me and this other guy behind me. That scared the crap out of me, yeah. <laughs> T-bone. I've never been... I mean, I've been in, like, the only crashes I've ever been in is when some other idiot, like, drives up behind you when you go to... When you're, like, at a stop sign and some idiot doesn't see the stop sign and he hits you from the back. Um, that's happened like twice in my life, but besides that, I've never been in an accident. Luckily, rear ended. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, this is one heavy storm, huh? I mean, I'm, I'm, I live in the Netherlands. I'm used to a lot of rain, but seems like we're in trouble here. I love like the sound of rain. The sound of rain might be. The most calming noise of all time. I don't know why people are scared of thunder. Ah! What the fuck, brother? This game is like so fucked, <laughs> like so weird. <laughs> Excuse me? That's that. <laughs> all right, here we go again. Oh, we're back in the day. Let's go. Oh, this is way better. Can it just stay this way, please? No more. <laughs> that is why we're scared of thunder. What is the objective of the game? To drive. What the fuck? What is that sound? Excuse me? Yeah, we need to count because that's six, at six. At six times, it's uh, that's the, that's the end. There's six different ways. Those are cicadas, I see. Uh, did I just see a monster? What the frick? I can't steer. Excuse me. I couldn't steer right or left there for a second. The hell was that? Did my brakes just fail? Just the... And these are some empty roads. 
Him looks amazing, by the way. New keyboard time, no thank you. You guys see that news of the... Of the guy listening to... What the fuck? Are these cicadas? Are these gonna be insects again? No, thank you. Of the guy, like, crashing his car into the police station. He, like, gets out of... He gets out of the car and, like, pumps his fists in the air and then get arrest gets arrested. <laughs> like, it's so stupid. And he literally is, like, facing life in prison for terrorism charges because he, like, fucking crashed his car into a public space like an idiot. <laughs> Like it was, it wasn't on, it wasn't like the classic one where someone stops in front of the Walmart and then accidentally presses the gas pedal instead of the brake and just crashes into the Walmart. No, it was just like full on, on purpose. And the funny part, well, not really funny, I guess, depends on your type of humor. But the funny part was that he... Um, can we not do whatever it is that you're doing? that he had crashed into two buildings and somehow his car was still working. So he had two like massive criminal charges of crashing his car into buildings. Um, hello? It's great, last game we actually, or last round we actually found a dead end. I wonder if that was a glitch or if that was part of the, the thing. Is someone behind me? No one is behind me. Um. All right, then. <laughs> Is that just an airplane flying overhead? Dakota sound a little different. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This... Oh, there's just seat belts over there. Is this siren head? Uh, did I just see something fly? Game kind of fucks with your head, huh? The scariest part of this game would be if they actually added other vehicles, so I have to pay attention to the road instead of just pressing W. I, am I wearing my seatbelt? I don't think I am wearing my seatbelt. Aliens again? I think there may be aliens. I'm driving like an absolute maniac, dude. I almost spun out. <laughs> I like these long roads. That was actually like one of my favorite things in the US is the long roads like you'll literally just be in like the middle of nowhere and they'll just be like this endless like to the horizon road just going straight forever you can just like mind on zero oh no we're sandstorm that's not nice or is it is it even a sandstorm are these insects i think it is sand the mist okay i need to go right here oh my god um, help me. Welcome to Silent Hill. When are they making the Silent Hill 2 remake? Sorry if you can't hear me over the loud noise of the weather, by the way. It's just the weather isn't what it used to be. Climate change, you know? Looks like a sandstorm. New York in August 2023 POV. It's the rude sandstorm. This is definitely the end of the world right here. I mean, we're gonna be seeing a whole lot more of this type of weather in the coming years before it gets any better, if it ever will get any better. Um, am I gonna be, is that a tornado? No. We do be kind of doomed. At least this time I'm not being chased by some crazy monster. I should probably not have said- ah! What the fuck? Why was it in person? Did I just hit a man? <laughs> Did I just hit someone? Or what was that? <laughs> what, he broke my window, dude. Fuck. Wait, no, he didn't break my window. These are just leaves. <laughs> it's just the wind. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Uh-oh. I actually really like this game. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I think the thing with games like these is that they're so creative. After playing like, probably like two, 3,000 horror games that I've ever played, I like 
playing something that I've never seen before. <laughs> and I can assure you that I've never seen anything like this. Need a VR version where you like really drive the car around. We need to get one of those truck simulator set up. I ne would never understand people that spend like, there's people that spend like thousands of dollars on like a whole truck simulator setup just to drive a truck in a video game. <laughs> You know you can just become a truck driver, right? Then you'd actually get paid for it. <laughs> like, instead of having to pay to drive the truck. <laughs> like, you're getting it all twisted, man. You don't have to pay for gas in that game. All right, true, true. So true. Um... I mean, I'm I feel kind of safe in this car. It seems like the glass is still intact, even though I probably, like, hit and run someone. Some people are getting jobs in real life because of driving games. What? Oh, uh, hi. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm just going to drive straight. Never mind. You're going in front of me. Okay. Um, we're just going to be hanging out together from now on. I'm gonna go to the right. If you, this was literally me when I was like driving on the interstate in the US somewhere. It was like tornado warning in your area. I literally called it. Like I understand why they have to actually test that like uh, alarm system in the US because it actually gets some use. I'm gonna go, wait, there's a park. I haven't seen a park before in this game. I'm gonna go right. I have dodged the tornado. Get juked? Never mind, he's still there. <laughs> All right then. What if I just drive the other way? Can I? What the fuck? Is that water? It's just a giant park. Uh, it would be cool with these houses actually. He's just keeping his distance. He is, uh, social distancing. Oh. Oh! Never mind, I'm flying. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. I feel like this is... Ow. Alright then. Uh, I think this might- this- this was number five, right? It's the last one? It's number six time. What could possibly be crazier than all the stuff we went through until now? Okay, it starts dark again. Don't like that. No fan. That was number four? No way. That was number five, I think. Maybe? We had... Let, let's count them. We had aliens from the sky. Then we had spiders. That's two. Uh, then we had car driving behind me. Then we had... No, this was. This is five. You're right. Then we had tornado. Yeah, this is five. Never mind. Okay, well, then they have two more to wrap it or to, uh, to ramp it up with the craziness. What do you possibly got to throw at me this time? Can we make a guess? Can we predict what's going to happen? What other shit <clears throat> can happen? We've already been stalked. We've already had weather. We've already had aliens. I hope there's clouds. <laughs> Siren head. Walking house earthquake earthquake would be possible zombies. I could see that happen <clears throat> A school bus full of school I can't say that what the fuck was that suggestion? <laughs> what the fuck you are messed up <laughs> Ghosts maybe rip YouTube <laughs> Giant blood waves? What the hell? Meteors? I could see a meteor. Or like a thunder strike, but we already had we already had stormy weather. Gonna be Bigfoot? Bigfoot maybe? Tsunami. I I mean maybe. Anyone behind me? Seems like we're doing just fine. So far at least. We're gonna run up. The run out of gas ending that would be the scariest ending uh the sound has started i don't know if i was supposed to see anything anything up up on the sky nope 
Hello? I hear screams. Did you hear that? Oh no, mass hysteria. It, maybe it is actually zombies? You guys called it? There was definitely a scream in the distance. Hello? Oh, this is... I don't like this, man. <laughs> this is spooky. Oh, no. I hear people running. I hear screams and people running next to me. I didn't see them, though. Um... All right, it's gone. Never mind, it's back. I thought it was gonna be gone. Lock my doors. Click that lock button. It's right there. Click it. We'll be okay, right? Totally. We've already been abducted by spiders. What could possibly be worse? That was another. How have um, the sound is so loud? Yet I can barely hear these screams in the distance. I don't know if you guys can even hear them. But there's definitely something going wrong. The apocalypse. You can't. There's like soft screams in the houses next to us. Like very rarely though. I think I'm hearing footsteps. The rapture. I mean, that's would be fitting because we're driving around an empty city. Oh no, we're gonna have to turn around. Sure, taking his time. Hey, the apocalypse arrives whenever. Wait, is that a. Could I have parked in the garage there? Let's hope some, nothing was behind me there. Otherwise, we're gonna be in front of it now. I'll be going this way. Goodbye. You hear that? <laughs> hear what? like a very far away scream it's just the wind it's not the wind Dude, where is this going is it gonna be zombies get your predictions ready guys it's like nothing it's a banshee it's all in my head very true could very much be the case <clears throat> the screams are getting longer. <laughs> Heard that one. See, slowly people are hearing them. Oh, I hear them now. It's been happening the whole time. <laughs> Just the bird. I'm like, I feel like I'm seeing like things in the corners of my. <laughs> What the fuck was that? What the heck? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Is just someone standing on the side of the road? Was it a clown? Did you guys, you guys were right. It was a clown. <laughs> Dude, you fucking called it. Who said it? There were so many people saying it was going to be a clown. <laughs> All right. Channel points rewarded to option clown. Uh oh. No clowns, please. It's gonna be the guy from One Piece. I've been watching One Piece recently. Uh, I had no idea what the fuck it was about. But it, the, the Netflix show, though. The Netflix show is actually good. It's buggy. <clears throat> or what, what did, what did, uh... forgot his name. What is the main character's name? <laughs> the stretchy guy. <laughs> I forget. Oh, L Luffy, Luffy. Luffy. <laughs> The stretchy. Oh no, stop screaming, please. It's supposed to be funny. You're a clown. Stretchy guy. I love. The first episode was so relaxing, and then the next episode is like immediately stressful. You're like, what the hell, man? Monkey D. Luffy. Why are they saying Luffy when it should be like Luffy? Shouldn't it be Luffy if you have double F's? Or am I. Is that just some stupid English garbage again? I don't know. Luffy. It's Japanese. Japanese pronunciation. Okay, well, that makes sense then. It's stupid Japanese garbage. <laughs> hey, we're totally fine. There's nothing creepy happening. No clowns, please. 
I've never understood the fear of clowns. Like, I guess I could understand it. You know, that was like that one period in the... I forgot even what year it was. It was like that one year where everyone was dressing up as... Oh. Hello, are you just going to be sitting in my back seat? Uh, no, thank you, sir. It's bug. Oh, he's looking at me. Hi. Hello. You are in fact. It's in fact clowns. This is. I'm. This. I would not accept someone stepping <laughs> stepping into my. Oh! What? Oh, wait, <laughs> what? Excuse me. Clowns. Okay. All right. Well. Now we've li really seen everything. We've seen clouds, we've seen spiders, we've seen tornadoes, we've been stalked, we've seen aliens. What could possibly be last? It's rights, rights with stranger, but you're the stranger that, t that is giving the rides. It's reverse rides with stranger. The zombies have not happened yet. I could see zombies, but it's the last one, right? It's gotta be the craziest one of all, of course. Uber simulator. I've been watching these YouTube shorts of this one guy in an Uber. I don't even know if he's like a real Uber or if he's just like driving his friends around. <clears throat> atomic bomb. I feel like apocalypse, like atomic bomb nuke kind of stuff is like the most extreme thing they could do in this situation. Where we're like driving down a long empty road and then just like a nuke at the end of it and then we just blast away into the credits. That would actually be sick. <laughs> that would be awesome. It kind of does resemble Nuketown, doesn't it? The Red Dawn. Let's see, I should... I shouldn't go here. Just gonna take the right here. No sounds yet. I think I'm going in circle. I think I've already been here. Nuke the city. Do not nuke this city. They set up so many different houses just to nuke it. There could also be a giant frog, yes. There could also be a giant frog, but I would be surprised if there was a giant frog. Is it actually getting dark? I think it's getting dark. Oh, uh, what am I supposed to see? Excuse me. Sirens, is it actually sirens? Oh, God. Oh, no, it has got to be a nuclear strike. <laughs> I'm look. I'm seeing if there's any missiles. I don't see anything. Sun's going under. <laughs> Dude, this would be sick. Lord of the Rings ending. They're going to spoil the end of Game of Thrones. Spoiler, it's bad. Literally, I'm so sad the ending of Game of Thrones was bad. I was like holding out watching the entire series because I read the books, but I was like, oh, I'm going to watch the series when it's all said and done. And then people are like, don't watch it anymore. It's terrible. And I'm like, what the hell? I haven't even started watching. <laughs> I mean, I guess I saved myself a lot of time. Did we go that way into the sunset? I kind of want to go left now. You still haven't watched it yet. It's the Oppenheimer ending happening live here. <clears throat> uh, what's going on over there? This is sunset, I know. Can you go backwards? You can go backwards. Oh. That's kind of peaceful. Gotta go left there. Oh, that's pretty. To put that wait, I don't have the one of those mirrors at the top to blind to drive on the sidewalks. I'm not gonna be a terrorist. I, I'm not gonna play this game like you play GTA, killing every single possible pedestrian. 
and then getting like three stars immediately and like hacking to get a Apache helicopter and shooting everyone until you explode. Flying on a building, getting a bazooka and trying to see how many things you can shoot down before you get shot down yourself. I know how you play GTA, you psycho. <laughs> I did play GTA 4 exactly like that, to be honest. Uh, excuse me. It's a freaking... Uh, how did we not expect the flying person? What? <laughs> excuse me. All right, so much for nuclear strikes. What the hell? It's angels? It is the rapture! <laughs> oh, that is sick. Wait, I'm going to the sunset? Uh-oh. Uh, where'd they go? Wait, they're gone? No more angels? There you are. What are they doing over there? It's too eight. Wait, it's just a regular person. Wait, there's just people flying now. Wait, I saw people without wings flying around as well. It's like the alien invasion. Yeah, see, look at this person over there. You see? They're just flying. They're ascending. Am I gonna ascend? Dude, this is sick. Oh, yes. Good luck out there. They're not even moving. They're just T-posing. Oh, they're so- they're everywhere. You saw them over there as well? There's Death Stranding. They're exiting the simulation. They're pulling the plug. They took the red pill. So mysterious. <laughs> We're gonna be flying with the car again. Hi there. Got large wings. I feel like I should be going towards the sunset. I think that's what the game wants me to do. What game is this? It's, you, just watch. It'll become clear. Probably not. I keep driving this in this exact same area, I feel. Who are you? I don't know who I am. I am random American number 69420. I'm driving on the sidewalk. Pretty calm for Armageddon. Hey, why do people think the rapture is going to be chaotic? What if the rapture is just like, it's peaceful? I guess that's the point, huh? No people flying out there. Passenger check? Okay, <laughs> if there was someone sitting back there, I would have lost my mind. Any clowns in the back seat? The quiet rapture. What is that? Where do I recognize? What is the quiet? What TV show or game has a quiet rapture? Iron Lung! That's the one. I was like, what the- I recognize that from somewhere. <laughs> when is the Markiplier movie coming out? Wasn't he in the hospital again? Dude, Markiplier, my guy. It was in Korea? Yeah, it was in a Korean hospital, no? Um... Oh, hi. I have ascended. <laughs> what the? That's it. That's it, dude. What an insane game. That was really fun. That was like genuinely fun. What a weird concept. I can see this. This game had actually like really bad reviews on Steam. 
and most of the reviews were like, I don't understand, this shit sucks. And I gotta understand why. You need to go into this knowing what it is, and knowing what it was, I actually had a great time. That was mighty creepy, and just uh, uh, like a vibe. It was just uh, driving around and then seeing what the hell would happen, guessing what would happen was kind of interesting. And we were pretty accurate, we guessed a clown, we guessed rapture, you're pretty got solid. Alrighty, but anyway, that is what's Endless Suburbia. Let me know what you thought of that. If you made it this far, you probably enjoyed it like I did. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. We'll click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Wait, oh, you can play the specific... Here we can see. UFO, spider, followed, tornado... M mime and rapture we were so solid on that and <laughs> we full-on guessed all of them basically i mean we <laughs> at first i thought it was all gonna be alien invasions but now i see it was different all right that was good stuff that was good stuff let's uh let's move on to the next one let's see i have a few games here let's do this one it's gonna be full-on puppet combo-esque style i don't even know what's going on the game is called laundry killer me every time i put the wrong settings on the laundromat and ruin my clothes. Do I plan to have my own merch? Uh, at some point. Like Bloodwash? I don't know if it's like Bloodwash. It's made with Unity. Hurdle Terra? What is happening in this game already? Hello? Everyone, my name is Insim, and this is Three Scary Games. I've said that twice in my entire life, and I've only uploaded one of those videos, I think. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Laundry Killer. Uh, it's fine. Language, English, Japanese, Chinese, Portuguese, Korean, and Spanish. So many options. I'm going to turn down the volume for now. Uh, give me one second. The laundry been killed yet? Let's go. That scared you? I jump scared you in some jump scare. <clears throat> Alrighty, just uh, we can just change the title to New Horror Games Plus Laundry Killer. Thank you very much. Uh, and I guess we'll say... Let's just hop in. I don't really know much about... Is it puppet combo? Wait, let me quickly check my notes. Uh, oh, late? Let's let's read the Steam this, or the description here. Late on a Sunday night, Emily realizes she forgot to do her laundry and heads to the laundromats on the outskirts of town. There, she stumbles upon a horrifying scene and is plunged into a chilling enigma that demands she uncover its dark secrets. Will she ever see the light of day again? Oh, baby. Here we go. Um, oh, interesting. There's, there's some copyright at the beginning here, apparently. Uh, we'll just hop in and see how it goes. Here we go. Laundry killer. Let's check it out. Chapter one, laundromat. Oh boy. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to get copyrighted. Don't watch YouTube. It's not what it looks like. I might have to blur this. This is literally just Tom and Jerry. <laughs> okay for the party. Yeah, I'll, it's, uh, 
Jerry's sitting. Tom is lighting dynamite. The cat is Tom, right? What? Are we just watching? Can I stand up? <laughs> this is public domain now. Maybe it is. <laughs> Tom is the cat. Okay, this guy's not. Here we go. Excuse me. So to do the laundry. That is the tiniest text I've ever seen in my life. I forgot to do the laundry. We're Emily. We're about to do the laundry. Apparently. Uh, and we don't have a laundry laundromat in our house. We do have a laundromat in our house. Trun on. I gotta go to work tomorrow. Broken. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I need. I need to hurry up with Wait. the laundry. No way, my washer is broken. No way, my washer is broken. You're one line behind, dude. My clothes are too dirty. I can't wear them. I got it. I gotta figure something out. Okay, well, I guess we're going to the laundromat in town. We haven't even ate our pizza. I'm not hungry right now. Then why did you get a pizza plus like a bunch of vegetables if you weren't hungry? You idiot. What's wrong with you? What even is that? Udon? I'm not hungry right now. Then put it in the fridge if you want to eat it later, you idiot. Emily, you're, you're dumb as hell. I mean... Nothing special. Okay, well, I guess we're going. I need to do laundry. Yes, we need to do laundry. I guess we'll take in the laundry basket. Nothing special. Don't you need to do laundry? Nothing special. Nothing special. Run on again. Did I break the entire game by turning on the laundromat too early? I think I may have done that. Give me a second. I think we might have to restart this real quick. I think I broke the game. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. New game, here we go. We're gonna have to watch Tom and Jerry again. I think I, I, think I went too fast. <laughs> you dumb as hell, nothing special. That was a speed run right there. <clears throat> oh boy. Are we gonna watch? Yes, this is just the Tom and Jerry the video game. It's a horror game where you play as a little mouse. Why are so many of these children shows so sexually charged when it comes to like, like exactly like that right there? <laughs> like where there's like one over sexualized. Oh, what? Why are you talking to me when I'm on the menu? <laughs> it's for adults. I mean, I guess I'm going to turn this on. Um, <clears throat> there's nothing else here. All right, then I can't change the subtitle size. So you're just going to have to deal with this. All right. I gotta go work tomorrow. Okay. I need to hurry up with the laundry. Okay, let's see. Now, if I ha I've just done all the dialogue, if I turn this on, will it now go well? Okay, obviously the laundromat breaks. That's supposed to no happen. Way. My washer is broken. I see. My clothes are too dirty. I can't wear them. Understood. I gotta figure something out. Okay, well, that's all you got. I can just take the laundry basket and leave the house. Do I need to, like, look at a magazine? Wait, okay, so apparently I didn't break the game. It was just supposed to go like this. Nothing special. You got too many clothes, lady. Too many clothes. Too much washing. Uh, what the fuck? Am I stupid? I can't turn it on, man. This is broken. Turn on the light. Um... <clears throat> Nothing special. It's trash. Dude, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I so confused? I feel like I should pick up the laundry basket and then go out. No? Do I have to read one of these? Book. Nothing special. Book. Nothing special. It's a nothing special book. Telephone. Nothing special. Flower face. Nothing special, dude. Leave the house. It... I tried to leave the house. I kicked it. I just smashed the box. I tried to leave the house last time and it didn't let me do that. Okay, well, so it was bugged. <laughs> okay, never mind. Whatever. Uh, sir, you are tall as hell. Wrestling. Where are you heading in the middle of the night, young lady? My washing machine at home is broken, so I'm trying to figure something out. What about going to a laundromat? Yeah, what about that? A laundromat? You never heard of this? I haven't been here long, so I don't really know what's around in the neighborhood. He's not even looking at me, he's looking above me. If you take the bus and go just five stops, there's a new laundromat that opened recently. Oh, <laughs> oh it's, it's AI. <laughs> I was like, what is happening here? This sounds so weird that opened recently. <laughs> I use it often myself. 
It has good facilities. <laughs> it was like, why does he talk Five like that? Stops? Thanks for the info. I appreciate this it. This is two robots talking. When the AI, when the AI takes over the human race and there's just a bunch of AI talking to each other, that's what this feels like. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna first take my laundry, right? I'm not gonna take my laundry when I'm going to... You are stupid, lady. What is your problem? You do not understand life. Don't look at me like that. Um, I'm already at the bus stop. No, we're gonna wait for the bus. That's a kitty. It's Detroit become human, but real life. Sir, sir, don't look at me. Stop it. Stop it. Can I crouch? Oh, there's the bus. Uh, well, that's totally not gonna be a disaster. Get on the bus. You do be kind of sus. Why am I not picking up the laundry to go to the laundromat? Oh, well, I guess I'm already here. And the creep didn't even get off the bus with me. Let's go. Uh, so many... So many parking spots. Laundry right there. Don't get killed by cars over here. Nice free bus ride. Didn't even pay for anything. I'm just gonna wash the clothes I'm on. I'm just gonna take off my clothes, be naked. Wash my clothes. Are you covered in blood? Sir, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, you're that guy from... Wait, remember the... <laughs> remember that Roblox game? We played with the fucking laundry guy. The guy that like was dancing. <laughs> it's that Roblox guy, dude. <laughs> What's with the bloody axe behind you and the blood on you? I just tripped while walking. No big deal. Thanks for your concern, young lady. Thanks for your concern, young lady. I am a human being. There's no way you look like that just from falling. <laughs> I'm not expressing any concern. I'm just asking. What really happened here? Here for laundry, right? Just do your laundry quietly and be on your way when you're spoken to nicely. <laughs> you're spoken to nicely? What are you even saying? Something is definitely off about this laundromat, you think? I should hurry up with the laundry and head home. Um, alrighty. What the fuck is in here? Is that just... Is that carrots? Alright, I'll just use any one of these. Do laundry. Should we do you... Where'd that laundry come from? Oh my god, it's just a square. While waiting for the laundry, let's grab some snacks from the convenience store behind the laundromat. You should do some laundry for yourself, sir. You could use some. Alright, I'm gonna get... Can I close the door? Close that door. Grab some uh, snacks from the convenience store. Right there, we got a... It's literally the Roblox game, dude. What the hell? It's a 12-9? 12-6? 912 Is it Hello Uh choose what to eat it says on their chat give me one sec Um if there's something going to be over there I'll move you guys to the side Oh what the fuck did I just do The music in here though is vibing Um Music in here is nice. Uh, hello, lady. Why are you looking at me with that, like, uh, methamphetamine stare? <laughs> I need to choose what... Oh, yeah, of course. Um, I will be taking cookies, apparently. Ramen. I don't want them. I was... I'm choosing. Warm drink. I don't want them. All right, she doesn't want them. I would like some snack. I am hungry as fuck, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Toiletries, I don't need these. More snacks. Just take all the snacks. Dude, I like the music in here. This is totally the exact same store, too. Wait, <laughs> this is like genuinely one-to-one. -one. Look. Wait, how the fuck are you? Wait, I thought the Roblox games were like made in a special Roblox engine. This is like the exact... This is a game that I got off of itch.io. This is not a Roblox game, but why does it look like it? <laughs> All right, anyway, I, I got my stuff. Can I sell it? Can you ring these up for me? That's a lot of shit that I just bought, man. It's also tiny. Yeah, why am I? Food this late, huh? Why are we buying food if we weren't hungry before when we were trying to eat the pizza? Here before, have I? No. No, I just moved to this area recently. My washing machine broke, 
so I'm waiting for my laundry at the laundromat and thought to stop by. <laughs> I love these conversations. That laundromat. What about it? Was there an issue? Come to think of it, I noticed the laundromat owner had blood. Yeah, on he was covered in blood and he had a bloody axe behind him. What are you doing, lady? right now don't even think about returning to that laundromat really i had no idea oh my God, this is so good laundromat, so i went there listen dear never step foot in that laundromat again and hurry on home now okay <laughs> this is I'll the best game i've ever played <laughs> all righty here we go love the music up there hopefully that was copyright free there's definitely something going on at that laundromat you think I should sneak in through the back and take a look around. Why should you sneak in through the back? That is like a, it's like the smallest. Um. He is just standing right there. What the fuck is going on? Am I gonna take the axe? What? Hello, sir. He doesn't know, dude. He doesn't know Pepe Laugh. I'm Stealth Master. Uh. I oh! What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Dude, I've been bugged. God damn it. Okay. Uh, what's gonna happen next? I have no idea. <laughs> Stealth not. Minus 100. He's the axe man. Why would you. Instead of like just grabbing your laundry and going you were like, yeah, let me sneak into the back. That's gonna save me Where am I? What is going on? Uh, I have red medicine flashlight. Oh boy Saving tape Save game. I need a tape. I have a tape. Do I have an inventory? I scroll wheel scroll wheel. I see Save the game understood. Do I get the tape back out? Uh, I can only do that once. Okay, well, I shouldn't have saved. <laughs> Push. Aha, we can go out that way. The door is locked. There's literally just someone watching me. I can hide under there as well. Let me quickly turn down the volume because it's a little loud. <clears throat> we should turn that down only. New Saw movie. Has anyone watched the new Saw movie? I heard it's pretty good. Compared to old ones. I've never watched a single Saw movie. I was really scared of them as a child. I was like, what the hell? You're just going to watch a movie of people dying? That seems insane. And then I never... Okay, I can't go out. This must be the way out. I need a key. You've only seen the, seen the first two. I was a... I was a... <laughs> what? Oh my god! Um, take the red medicine. How do I? Oh, I should probably turn off my light, huh? Um, hello? What the frick is that? Ah! I'm dead. Goodbye, cruel world. Run! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, shucks. I don't know what's happening. What the fuck? <laughs> Help! I just ate the pills. I was trying to open the door. Okay, you're still behind me. Run. Oh, can I open these doors? Is, is he still after me? Oh, what's this? Jilky? Okay. Uh, more red medicine. Wait, I'm still hurt, though. Is that my health bar in the middle? No. Yes? No. I don't know what's going on. Uh, that's a lot of barrels. PewDiePie would never. Seven? Bunch of AI-generated paintings. Seems like there's some number here. Yeah, of course. Okay. Help, help. Oh no, he can open doors immediately. Okay, well, uh, goodbye, cruel world. It's been fun while it lasted. Wait, he lost me. How the fuck did he lose me? What a dumbass. I don't even know what the hell is gonna happen. What is this room, dude? <laughs> oh, whoever draw this has got to be a total psycho. Um, oh, another number, zero. Oh, okay. Uh, what was it? Pink, magenta was seven, red is zero. Okay, can we write this down? Write this down, write this down. Uh, just stay away. 
Okay, I can't go in here. I need a crowbar. Any reason to go up more? Nope, this is just the end. This Nicholas Cage. I have like an infinite sprint, man. Am I just gonna walk into this? No, 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 no. What the fuck is that dead guy? August 8, 2023. My girlfriend Sophia and I were out for a walk. Oh God, you're gonna find me. We're out for a walk in the middle of the night, but an incredibly tall man wearing a strange mask and a black outfit ambushed my girlfriend. I tried to stop him, but failed and seemed to have passed out. When I opened my eyes, I was trapped in a room. I tried various ways to escape from this crazy bunker-like place, but in the end, I was caught by the masked man. How did you write that down? I've been stabbed and I feel like I'm going to die. Oh, that's why. If someone is reading this, please escape. The combination to the lock on the rep box is purple, yellow, green, red. Purple, yellow, green, red. Remember? If you're reading this, Sophia, I hope it's you. You must survive. Purple, yellow, green, red. Okay. Thank you. For telling me that, I guess. I'm sorry that happened to you or whatever. This body doesn't look like it's been dead for long. Ah, oh, frick. Okay. Okay, this is the padlock. We... What the fuck is happening? Can you leave this? How do I get out of here? Escape? Uh, I'm I'm stuck. I bugged out the game. I bugged out the game. Oh, never mind. I did. I don't know how I did that. I was walking around while in that screen. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Um, what the fuck? Oh, it's green. Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We already have the code, right? We can just guess the last digit. We have purple, yellow, green, red. So we have seven question mark five zero. 7x50. We can just guess that last number. That shouldn't go take too long. 7 uh, 5 0 and then this one could just be 1 There we go. He's insane with it. And we get the wire cutter. Okay. I wish I could save right about now. I don't hear anyone. Okay, I'm gonna have to go further down, maybe over here. Yes. Don't you dare find me. What's this? It is a fuse. Of course, can't be a horror game if you don't have to find a fuse. There's a saving tape. Okay. Wait, I actually like the saving system. That's kind of neat. Hopefully, he's not upstairs here. Otherwise, I'm gonna f get fucked. Um, it's too far up. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from? Oh no. Oh no, it's down there. Is this all the way up? Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is the wrong area. Wait, how did I... Where did I go? Um... Oh, I jumped out of there. Wait, but I jumped out of the vent. How am I supposed to get back in? Wait, I have a Jill key though, right? Wait, how am I supposed to save if I can't get to the save station? This is a scam, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, this is a disaster. They're gonna walk past me? Sir, please. Oh no. <laughs> He's walking upstairs. Is he? Oh, he's right below me. Okay. Oh no, he's right there. Is he? Uh, I don't see anyone. I think he's like literally low, ro walking right below me. He just went into a door? What did you just do? I think we're okay. Oh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We can hide here. We can hide here. And then he walks past. Can I open this door, hide underneath here, and then still. I can't watch. You turn off the light. Is he gonna be going that way? Sir? Drop a bowling ball on his head? I wish I had one. Are you coming this way? He is very damn slow, this guy. 
This seems ex an extremely simple layout. Okay, there he is. Holy shit, I almost walked into him. Okay, he walks that way. I go down. Okay, he walked into there. This is good. He's on the wrong floor. This is perfect. What is this area? We have already been it. This is the, the barrel room. That was... Oh, no, 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 no. It's locked. I have a key. It's locked still. Okay, my key doesn't work on this door. That's fine. I'm not mad. Wire cutter. Cut the wire. Just all the wires. Just cut all, every single one of them. <laughs> okay, well, that works. Is there anything else here? Uh, what well, fuck? Excuse me. Some creepy music playing. Okay, there's blood. He's not gonna be down here, right? The right wall first. Uh, what the actual fuck? All right, sir. I don't really know what's going on in this place, but it doesn't seem nice. We get red medicine. Uh, Lavin Lavinar's food recipe: raw meat, three pieces; human flesh, beef stew, hot sauce, pumpkin one, cabbage, garlic, three to four. Can we write this down? Write this down, chat. Take a mental screenshot. Thank you very much. I assume you already wrote it down. I will be relying on you. Uh, keypad. Wait, is that the code? Wait, is that a code? Three, two, one, one. Is that the code? Three, two, one, one, three, four. Three, two, one, one, three, four. Three. No! Feels bad, man. Exit. I need to go. Uh, backpack? Now I can carry more items. Let's go. Uh, I can go. I it's fastened with screws. God damn it. I wish I could save the damn video game. That'd be real nice. Oh, there's a Def Sophia. Rip Sophia. Rest in peace. Sucker. I couldn't type more. Oh, I need valves for this. Uh, a crow, the tiniest crowbar the world has ever seen. It's addition. Cro okay, now I have to go back up to break open all those doors. I see. You better not be here, sir. I'm going to hit you with the crowbar. Okay, he is definitely here, but that's fine. He's blind. Why is this place so damn miss or so damn foggy, man? I do go that way. Okay, just, just, just fall. There. Don't walk back. Okay, he's still walking this way. Steam. No, he just, is he walking backwards? Wait, he just went in somewhere. Wait, he just went in somewhere. Go, 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 go. Run past him. Let's go. Okay. There were several doors. This one. Can I... What the hell is this? I have a fuse. Fuse slot. Grab my fuse. Boom. But do I have... Do I need to have four? I need to have four. All right. Well, that doesn't really help me very much now, does it? Um, There's not much here. Okay, run. Or he's going to find me. Now I can save the game, right? What the fuck is happening here? I have the knife? Okay. Oh, God. Did anyone write down the recipe? <laughs> Please tell me you did. Dude, you actually wrote it down. You're insane. Can I save here? Yes, let's go. Save the game. Uh, Wait, I have a tape. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we save all our progress. Save a new slot. Yes, please. Let's go. Yeah, we know the numbers, but that doesn't really help much. I can't open these. Okay, I gotta go backwards. I don't know if I have enough inventory for this. Uh, okay, in here. Someone wrote it down, right? Let's see. Three meat pieces. Raw meat. One, two, three. Two beets. Beets. I can't carry more item. Fuck! Alright, well, this is gonna take a while. Do I, or do I just put it in here? I just put it in here. Meat one. Oh, fuck. Wait, huh? Meat again. Meat again. Three meats. Human flesh. How are we going to get human flesh? You have two beet. Beet root, I'm assuming. That's the same thing. Uh, there's too many damn items in my inventory. Boom. 
Boom. Then we have... Oh, the body with the knife! Of course, we need to go to the dead body. Oh, God. Uh, wait, can I get it repeated again? I'm stupid. I already forgot. We needed something more. Can we get the copy-paste? There was pumpkin as well, right? Pumpkin, yes. Pumpkin, hot sauce. One cabbage? Just a whole cabbage? And then three garlic cloves. Uh, there we go. Cabbage. Hot sauce. Just the whole thing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the whole pumpkin. No cutting required. And then uh, three cloves of garlic. Do I have to cut that in any way? Do I just put in the whole garlic? I guess I put in the whole garlic. <laughs> what the fuck? And then now we need to get the human flesh, right? That's it. I am the chef. The master chef over here. Where was this body again? It wasn't one of these rooms, right? One of the first rooms? Oh, not this one, though. No, I don't need to go to the big, big dude, I think. Out here. There you are. Chop, chop. Chop! Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. That... Oh, just there you are. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's cooking time. Here we go. Final ingredients. A hand. Is that not it? Did I forget anything? I put in three meat, two beets, cabbage, three meat, human flesh, beets, hot sauce, pumpkin, cabbage, garlic. Unless the garbage was or the garlic was wrong. Now let's get it in the bucket, maybe. Get it? I see. Yummy. What do we even do with this? <laughs> Why did I even do this to begin with? What's the point? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Can I drink some of the cola? I don't need this. What the fuck, man? Okay. Uh, was there any more door? Feed it to the big man. Feed it to the big guy. And he's going to open the door for me or something. Oh, he's walking right there. Fuck you. Am I literally gonna follow him? Like I'm the killer? This guy is very stupid. I love that my camera is going like... Oh no, you're close to the killer, be careful. Go in a door somewhere, sir! This is ridiculous. Um... Ah! Okay, okay, never mind then. I made a great mistake. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Follow me? Okay, he's walking that way. This is perfect. Dude, absolutely baited. Get jabated. Absolutely jabated. Jabated and outsmarted. All right, we've done our thing. I don't think he comes all the way down here, so this is fine. I shit my pants. I did not expect that. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, uh, I have a big juicy meal for you, sir. You want this? Feeding slot. Yummy. Oh, and now I get the... I need a key to open it. Jail key. Put it in. Please do this fast. And then we grab the screwdriver. Oh, it's this guy. Laundry owner. He probably got eaten. Lol. <laughs> nice sounds, dude. The crunchy noise. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What did we get just now? We got the screwdriver, which will allow us to get into the vent over here. He doesn't need to do laundry anymore. Wait, so he wasn't even evil then. I mean, probably he was involved in this somehow. Or maybe... I don't... Oh, come on. Every single one of the screws one at a time. <laughs> the crunch is why it needed so much cabbage. I gotta get that crunch. It was mostly... It was a lot of vegetables. The guy's eating healthy. Uh, are we gonna get into Sophia's cell now? Uh, what the fuck is that car? <laughs> that is the best looking car I have ever seen in any video game ever. Okay, now we can walk this way. Beautiful. <laughs> That's the new Tesla, dude. It's the Cybertruck. <laughs> 
<laughs> looks better actually we got another saving tape oh my god my boyfriend and i decided to go for a walk in the middle of the night everything was peaceful until a towering figure in a peculiar mask and back attire suddenly grabbed me my boyfriend tried desperately to save me but he was overpowered the last thing i remember was seeing him being knocked down but i got up again before everything went black when I came to, I was in a different room. Driven by the urge to escape, I tried numerous ways and even managed to secure the master key. But the thought of leaving without him tormented me. As I searched for him, I was captured again and thrown back into this prison. I had discovered the passcode to the murderer's room and had taken the master key from there. But by now, they must have changed the code. They've injected me with some strange substance and I can feel its horrifying effects coursing through me. I don't think it'll last much longer. Whoever stumbles upon this note, there's something crucial you should know. Beware of the dreadful monsters lurking in the underground sewers. And if you're reading this, Thomas, my love, I truly hope you make it out alive. Um, rip her. She's dead. <laughs> no joke. Um, you could just crawl through the vents, you know? I cry every time. I love how they left the vent in her cell o open. F. Um... That's water. I don't want to go in there. Jesus Christ, this shit is loud. Knock. This is like Granny Puppet Massacre. It's like a hybrid of so many games. It's definitely not as brutal and bullshit as most pup or most puppet combos games. And it's also not as loud. Most puppet combo games will leave you with a freaking ear injury afterwards. I'm assuming this is just rust. Yeah, I love how she wrote that whole note that basically said nothing. She had so much fucking time. Uh, oh, you have another safe station. I'll take the safe. Don't mind if I do. I don't think I'll be dying, but... Sure. Uh, we can go this way. Did you guys have... When I was a kid... In the library... Oh, I can't open this fastened with screws and I can't unscrew it from here. The library close to us had video games you could rent. Like when I was a child, like, I don't know, uh, like literally like 16, 18 years ago, something like that. Like a really damn long time ago. Um, my dad would rent video games from the store and then he would like copy them on... <laughs> oh, come on. You can't get through it. He would copy them on a... Uh... Can I not bolt cut this? Onto a new disc and yoink them. Thanks, Dad, for giving me Age of Mythology when I was a child. I appreciate it. I don't know why he wouldn't just buy the games. It's not like it's that expensive. <laughs> My dad was just like, oh, it's it's free real estate. <laughs> okay, um... It was sick, man. I, I can't go this way. What the fuck? Age of Mythology is, like, so damn good. Such a fun game. I bought it on uh, Steam recently. I haven't played it yet. My dad's a hacker. It's a freaking hacker man. Where is this? Oh, wait, no. Huh? Okay, so we need to break this. I need to find a way to turn it off. All right, can we go down here? I'm probably gonna die. I just saved the game, right? Oh, I can go in there. Uh, can I swim? Am I drowning? Did my character drown? Probably yes. Ah! What the f Fuck. Jesus. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Oh, I can unscrew it from here. The fuck was that? I don't think the guy can ever get here. I'm totally safe. The stupid idiot walking on the stairs. Machine gun water. Damn TV. Animus current. Yeah, I know. He's, uh... Oh, the beta tests are getting like 30 to 50 FPS on 30x series cards. Well, that's gonna be fun for me. Uh, it's, I mean, the game is coming out relatively... What the hell is this? Excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck is that guy? Oh, there's more! Okay, luckily they're very stupid. Can I please go in here? Okay, I can't. I'm so tiny. We have another fuse. Okay, we need four fuses. Oh, God. Dude, can you stop with these damn screws? <laughs> it's taking forever, man. 
So how are you guys doing? How is the weather out there? Gonna spend half the game unscrewing fucking screws. Screwdriver simulator. Hope he fixes the FPS issues. I hope they... I mean, probably. There we go. Alright, finally. Uh, anything else here? There is another red medicine. I'm assuming these guys would just one-shot me if they get to me. Is there anything back here? Oh, this is this area. Okay, I see. We're just getting shortcuts, so we make it faster the, the next time. Let's, let's run before they find me. It's been it's been some it's been nice weather over here. Not too hot anymore, man. It was disgusting. Last month was like the hottest it's ever been in September. Fuck that shit. There's a valve handle. I need so many of these. These guys seem very weak. 33 today in California. I mean, that's... You sign up for that. I should really be checking these areas properly. POV me doing my laundry. I'd rather do this than do my laundry, honestly. I can't carry more items? Are you kidding me? Can I drop items? Okay, I'll drop the medicine. I'll drop the wire cutter because I probably don't need that anymore. Drop the other medicine. Do I even drop the... I'll drop the crowbar and the cleaver as well. I don't think I need that. Maybe I do. Uh, and then we'll pick this up here. So if we ever need it, it's in this area. If we ever need any of this shit. <laughs> oh God, I should probably grab one of these and probably run, 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 run. Okay, he didn't see me. <laughs> That's a big cleaver, yeah, indeed. All right, any more doors? So we have three fuses now, total, but we need four fuses. No, 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 You can't get in here. It's too small for you. Piece of garbage. Okay, there's not even... There, we can go up that way. And gotta unscrew another vent. Let's go, my favorite part of the game. 17 in the UK. It's 17 right here. You bought Shadows of Doubt. And it has taken you over. Join the dark side. You have joined us. That game is so good. We might do... It's Friday, right? We might do another early Shadows of Doubt stream this weekend, but no promises. Okay, there we go. Finally. Uh, I can't go out this way. What is this? They're doing some kind of science-y shit over there. But I can also climb this ladder right here. Um, can I climb a ladder? Or click the ladder? Oh, there we go. Just gotta point upwards and, like, jump. <laughs> Smash the space bar key. Almost clipped out of bounds there. Um, got another valve and another fuse. I can't carry more items. God dang it. I don't think I need... Well, I hope I don't need that tape. Oh, never mind. It's right there. I thought it flew fucking into outer space. It's locked. Oh, wait, I can unlock this. Okay, oh, uh, we're back here. Let's go. Okay, we need to be careful. Wait a minute, we can just drop this and then take the this thing? We should probably save. Which the save station should be... Where's this guy? Hopefully he's nowhere near. Wait, what is this? Oh, wait, this is the area we need to be. Open the fuses, yes. Oh god, one animation at a time. Can we just do laundry? Yeah, if you just did your laundry a day before, this would have never happened. Also, damn laundry machine just breaking. I have another one, right? There, yeah, last fuse. What is this even turning on? I don't know. Um, I click a button or is that just enough? Click the big button. He's done it. There's no button. The power is on. Okay. Um, sure. I have a bunch of valves as well. I want to save the game over here. Please don't attack me. There, save the game. Save the game. Boom. Nice. Okay, that's all done. I like that they actually give you saves. Usually games like this just make you do it all in one go or just go fuck yourself. You have to do it all again. Not my favorite. Are you down here somewhere? Um, sir, 
Okay, well that was short-lived. What the fuck? Ah! What the hell? You were way closer than I expected. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Stop it. Stop it. Holy fuck. All right. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> that one got me. I had one valve. Can I heal, please? My health doesn't look very good. Is that even my health? What does that even do? My health bar in the middle seems to be going down. Like, no matter what I do. Do I even... I don't think I have four valves. I think I have three. Please tell me I have four. I don't want to have... To, that's stamina? Oh, wait. No, it's not. No, I don't have four valves. This shit sucks. Dang it. Okay, what... What the power do? Did I turn this off? I need to find a way to turn this off. What did I just power up? Like, why, why did I put the fuses in there? What did that do for me? Um... What's the point? You're still eating. You're still yum, yum, yummy. Um... I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Maybe the car? Maybe the car works now? How did you even get this car in here? Through the fucking door? <laughs> like, what's happening? What the hell is going on? Um... There's no... Just probably need to go back into the poison area to get the final valve, I guess. The time, piece by piece. God damn it. All right, here we go swimming again. Maybe swimming somewhere around here. Um, I can go in there. Is there another way to go? Aha, there's another way up here. The water pressure is too strong. I can't get through. That doesn't make any sense. Going up should be lower water pressure, you dingus. <laughs> why would the, why would I not be able to go up? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, wait, maybe over here? Or did we already do this? I think we already did this. That's not physics, my guy. Okay, here we go. Do I miss something in this whole area? You are a piece of garbage, you know that? Are you gonna turn around? Or are you gonna keep walking? Okay, keep walking, please, sir. What are you doing? Sir. What the fuck? He's jiggling. Ah! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, he's gone. Uh, I already opened that. Oh, fuck, you're right there. No, sir! Sir, sir. I do not appreciate this. None of this. I've already been here. This is the pressure. This is the TV area. Can everyone just go away? I'm trying to do my own business here. I need to be in the middle, though. Is there any door in the middle? <clears throat> Maybe just a valve in this room? He's gonna turn around for sure. What if I- What the frick? Alright, alright. It's fine. He's still chasing me. What are all these vents? This place is well ventilated. Um... We've been in there. Unless we just missed the valve in one of these rooms. That would be kind of stupid. I feel like I wouldn't... Oh, no. You didn't see me. So it is my stamina bar in the middle, then. I think. Because it's slowly going down. Hey, it's our stuff. I guess I'll take that. <clears throat> Nothing. I mean, there is a, there's a stinky cloud for sure. Okay, I can't go there. Maybe they're pumping in the gas. That's what these vents are for, huh? It's gotta be in the middle, no? Fuck. What about my laundry? Don't worry about my laundry. We're just trying to get the fuck out of here. It's the vent again. My damn stamina sucks. Oh, wait, I did doors closed? No, it's open. Never mind. Anything in here, though? Did I miss a valve in one of these? Oh, this is the ladder room. With the vent over here. What the fuck? Wait, and this led to what now again? 
Yeah, we got nothing to wear for tomorrow, guys. Don't you get it? It's so important. Wait, the computer! Wait, is the computer turned on? Uh, I see. <laughs> Available commands. Okay, so the computer turned on because I turned on the power thingy. Uh, can I exit here? Close the door. Okay, we need to do something with the computer. What do we got to do with the computer? We have stopped the hydraulic system available. Monitor show real-time system monitoring. Uh, can I click on a command? I can't do this. Hydraulic control. Help. To stop the system. Oh, here we go. What the fuck? Use your control to arrange the tiles to... What? Proceed with cautions. Incorrect attempts may lock the system. What do you mean? What am I doing? Six? Five? I can't type. Do I move it? Oh, come on. What? What is this garbage? <laughs> what is this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck you. I have to click on the numbers to make it. What is this, like, advanced computer over here? All right, well... This might take a while. Get ready. Strap in. <laughs> Everyone will be here for a while. Um, I think we'll be fine. Boom. That's in place. Uh, whoops. Gotta do that. That's almost in place. That one is the wrong... Oh, wait. No. Uh, I just need to do one, two. Yes, we're fine. Uh, you stay down. Wait, that I can't do that. Uh, just have you guys over here. Fuck you all. Boom, this needs to rotate. Like that, yes. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. No, but almost. This is... This is a disaster. This is a complete other disaster. We just need to swap these around. Fuck me, man. Wait, don't I have to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, I just need to do this. This is the true horror game, guys. Okay, um... If I rotate this, they end up in the wrong place, though. That's the problem. Fuck you! How do I get the seven out of there? So I need to have... This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. And then I have to have the three in this spot so I can swap that in. Yes. Then the four, the six needs can't be there. Now I can shove this in. Okay, that's in place. Let's go. Then the four over there. Uh, that was good. That's, that's a step. Step in the right direction. Okay, boom, boom, no. Fuck. Um, wait, actually? Uh, almost. You need to go down. You, you... Oh, we're so close. We're so close! <laughs> My soul just died. <laughs> oh! Wait, I did it. Did I do it? I didn't even pay attention. I accidentally did it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. I'm insane. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Easy game, dude. That was so fucking long. That's the most painful puzzle I've ever had to solve. I hate puzzles like this. I, ha I used to have one that had like the face of Donald Duck on it, and it was like my nightmare puzzle. Um, okay, we did it. It's uh, disabled now, so now we can take... Uh, do I have a safe tape? I don't have a safe tape. This is going to be a disaster if we die and do that damn puzzle again. Okay, he's walking that way. We need to go there as well. That is annoying. Luckily, we don't die in one shot. Uh, this is gonna be terrifying. Wait, I need to be down here. Excuse me? Wait, since when can you go in there? What the fuck? Wait, this is rude. Sir? Sir, you can't go down there. That's not allowed. Ah, fuck you. I wouldn't even mind if you chased me here. Where'd he go? Oh, uh, he went somewhere. Oh, he, he went this way. That's fine. Because we can take the vent over here. Um, or we can go through here now because this is turned off. Yes. And then over here, there's going to not be vent or... Right? Wasn't there gas over here? Wait. There's still gas? Oh, no. This is the computer. 
Uh, where the fuck am I going? Oh, was it? Do we swim up? Can we swim up because of the pressure? Sure, we'll, we'll try that. Does that work? Water pressure. That's not how water pressure works, but is it how it works in this game? Can we go? Yup, all right. <laughs> sure, now we can go up. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> sure, we've done it. We have, we, we did the damn thing. Oh my god, help. Uh, it's library and there's the final valve. There we go. Okay, this is actually a nice room. Can I just stay here? Where does this lead? Oh no, we're back here, you dickhead. All right, well, here goes nothing. We just need to put in the final valve, which then that turns off the gas. And then we can go through the vent. Ah, oh, fuck you, piece of garbage. Wait a minute, can I wait over here? Like, have him walk up there? Lauren, thank you for the prime. Please go fuck yourself. Oh, he's walking. Yes, it's working. There he goes. Goodbye, sir. Nice. Okay, now he's just gonna be up there, no problem. Uh, and then we go to this room. Final valve. The laundry has to be done by yet, by now. Yeah, we're just doing this to keep ourselves busy. I thought that was a code for a second. Okay. So, pipes are done now. Now I just need to go back to that vent area, wherever that was. It must have been through here, right? Or was it through the water? Was it through the water? Was it over here? Or no, this leads to the... Oh, this leads to here. What the fuck? It was by the blue room. This room? This way? Yes, there it is. Okay, now we can go through here. Uh, what? Cameras? Can I click the big stop button? No? Someone is spying on me? Is this all just a sick game? And we're in this room. Most annoying noise of all time just dropped. Excuse me, what the fuck is that sound? Oh, oh my God, here we go. My ears. What? What is this beeping? Good God. Calm down, everyone. What is? This, what does this say? I'm writing this down just in case I forget. Four, eight, three, five. This is literally something straight out of Shadows of Doubt right here. This could literally be a note you find in Shadows of Doubt. Four, eight, three, five. We all, we did all of that. They have satellites and everything. Dude, these people are advanced. Okay, so now we go all the way back to the door, uh, which I guess is through here. Oh boy. And fill in the code for the damn door. How do I get the frick out of here? Are you in there? Uh, you can go through this? Remember, count up from one. <laughs> No, 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 sir. No, sir. Can I just even still use the code even if I die? That would be hilarious. I'm assuming it's this way. Uh, I don't know if it is. Please stop it, sir. What the fuck is he doing? Jesus, he smacked the shit out of my my ass. At least I didn't die one shot. Is this a fucking exit? Where's the fucking... Oh, here. Go through the vent. No, th is this back to where we just came from? Did we just go in a big circle? Can we just go back through... Let's just go back through the vents instead. I don't know why I'm doing this this way. This was unnecessary. Oh, Leo, thank you for the three. Um... Or, yeah, now we're back here. Okay, this is fine. As long as the guy is not here. Please, Mr. B upstairs. I don't want you to be down here. Okay, we made it. Now we have to... What was the code again? Four, eight, something. Four, eight, five, three. Four, eight, three, five. 
Wait, what? Oh, I clicked nine. <laughs> there we go. I clicked the nine. <laughs> I was so confused there for a second. I did it. He's done it. Exit. What are we doing? We got the master key. I see. The power is off. Okay, now what do we do with the master key? Is there any more locked door? I don't remember if there was like an important locked door somewhere. What do we use the master key on? The vent at the top? Escape? Oh, the, the vent to escape from the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're right. All right, we just said all we have to do, walk up the damn stairs. Don't die along the way. Uh, please. Hello, sir. He's walking above me. I wouldn't mind you. I should be full HP. Are you going in there? Wait a minute. Go. Run. Ah, what the fuck? Help. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Please stop, sir. Oh, he, he gave up. He just freaking gave up. Open the door. Let's go. <laughs> is this, is it over? Is it just going to kill me? Am I going to finally be able to do my laundry? Oh, we're back out. It's so disorienting. I have to make it home before he comes after me. No, dude, you got to get your laundry. I should hurry up and get to the bus. But what about my laundry? I need to get my laundry. Very important. It's locked. No! <laughs> no! All right, fuck me, I guess. Here we go. We're going to be naked tomorrow. <laughs> no laundry. But it's 24-hour laundry. It's actually done the laundry. <laughs> All right, bus. Oh, uh, what the frick? Shush me, you maniac. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a bus stop right there. <laughs> I thought you just like r r drove past it. Here we go. We've done it. He shouldn't, wouldn't follow me this far. I should be safe now. Uh, you're still standing in front of my house. The laundry place you recommended it's a terrible place someone tried to kill me there zero Why stars still here four eight three five no what? what you're quite predictable huh oh <laughs> i did i love this game <laughs> I should have just walked inside. Oh my god. Alrighty. Well, that was laundry killer. That was definitely one of the horror games of all time. I had a good time with that game. I don't mean to be rude. Uh, I love the voice acting. <laughs> He's just been standing there. Just, he could have killed me from the very beginning. I love how we ran away from a guy with a knife. Totally fine. There's a guy standing in front of us just being quiet and we just give up and die. Alrighty. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought of the game. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Or get the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. Then I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye bye. Oh, baby. Alrighty. Uh, I'm out of here. Goodbye, everyone. What about the second chapter? Oh, wait, there was another chapter. You are right. No, that was the second chapter. The second chapter was um, inside the inside the facility. Right? I'm assuming. Uh, was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. See? There are two of the there. We did both of them. OK, uh, next game. We are now going to do, uh, I don't know. This looks like, do you guys remember that game a while ago called, what was it called? It was that game where you controlled this tiny robot and you went, where, what the fuck? Or you went into this cave to scan bodies. It's basically the exact same game, or at least that's what it looked like. Welcome to an interactive reenactment of the events that happened to study group F. F? F's in the chat. Uh, ca the cave game. Yeah, the cave game. Um, F in the chat, guys. Pyramid curse. Here we go. Gonna show up. It's gonna show up. Everything is good. Gonna drink some water before we go. Definitely annoying. Alrighty. What the hell's going on here? <clears throat> Let me turn that down. Well, actually, it's it's fine if we just read this and go. 
Oh god, what if I do chat keeps going to the top right there. Okay. Welcome to an interactive reenactment of the events that happened to study group F. An interactive version of the events is made from available audio-visual materials left at the scene. With the help of these materials, we were able to reproduce what, with incredible accuracy all the details of what happened. Your task is to analyze the events shown here. After completing this interactive session, report your findings to the administrator. Alrighty. Uh, press the spacebar to change the camera view. It's observation duty. Um, what the fuck? Opera so the game is called Pyramid Curse. I'm going to the science cabin. Underground tunnel. This is an interesting style. Explosives? Explode it. Uh, 137 meters by 215 meters. How to use the Pyramid Seeker rover? Use WASD on your keyboard to control the rover. You can also change the position of the camera on the Y axis with your mouse. Okay, wait, change the position of the camera. I see. Okay, I can move my mouse and I can do WASD. Keep a close eye on the rover's battery life. My battery is getting low and it's getting dark. Feels bad, man. Uh, you are responsible for the rover and if everything, anything happens to it, you will be subject to penalties. Uh-oh. When you are in the scanning area, you will hear a special alarm signal indicating that you can start scanning. Press E on your keypad to start scanning. Note that scanning consumes 10% of your battery power. Meet the crew. Who's the question mark? Code name blank. Max, male 27, assistant operator. Mackie, male 42, operator. Observer. Who's the observer? Uh, press the spacebar to change camera view. Do we have to pay attention? Do I have to scan? No. Uh, a good employee has nothing to hide. Tell us about your day. Okay, dude. Um, we're going down into some science-y thing. First descent. Is this some SCP stuff? It's kind of mysterious right now. We are the observer, maybe. We are, we are a secret guy. Zones? So this is like cave- You remember that cave game? Where you played as like a little rover scanning stuff? Oh. They're scanning? It's Cave Crawler. That was the name. Mackie's entry. It is still unclear what rock the pyramid is made of and what principle it is. Oh, so that it was a pyramid. That was what we saw on the screen. Uh, not to mention who needed to build such a structure. At present, we see neither practical use of a pyramid nor logical substantial substantiation of construction of its tunnels. Further investigation is required. I see. Yeah, I'm doing... Did I just clip? I thought I clipped out of bounds immediately. Okay, this is literally just a dead end. Can also move my camera literally only up and down. Uh, what the frick? Okay, I need to be careful with my battery. Do we do right wall strats? I think we do right wall strats. They probably accept that or expect that though. Um, I'm gonna go more right. This place is a damn maze, dude. Am I supposed to find stuff out here? Uh, what is that? Can I scan the mushrooms? Mushrooms? How did they get here? Did I- Did the mushrooms talk to me and say that? Or what now? <laughs> Do I scan the mushrooms? I don't scan the mushroom- Dude, this game has a, some trippy-ass graphics. Yeah, I don't think we'll go to the mushroom. Uh, I can't see shit right now. There we go. Um, help. Don't clip me. Oh, there's a person. Hello. Mushrooms growing out of a rat. There we go. We can scan this. The effect of mushrooms. Maggie's entry. The body of a small rodent, apparently a rat. There are mushrooms sticking out of its head. It's the cordyceps. Uh, the mushroom seems to have sprouted directly from the brain through the rat's skull. How did it get here? Maybe there's another passage somewhere. Press E to close this message. Okay. Uh, rip the rat. Rats, rats, we are the rats. The rat, we are a little rover. We are not crawling in here. We are playing a little robot. We are playing as Curiosity, the Mars rover. <clears throat> you were eating? It's a pixel, you, you'll be fine. I, I don't want to run out of battery. 
Going further down. Uh, this is a large open area. Hello? There's, a frick There's not a dead end. Where is this? There's a giant hole. The tunnel is about three meters deep. It is necessary to install a special mechanism for lowering and lifting the rover. We will also need to order higher capacity batteries for the rover. And in the meantime, we will have to be even more careful about the battery life consumption. The purpose of this tunnel remains unknown. Return the rover to the loading dock. Are you kidding me? Fuck this rover. All right. Uh, what if I launch it off a cliff? Are you kidding me? I have to do it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll speed run time. <laughs> You piece of shit. I thought it would be funny. Now I have to go through pain. Go fuck yourself. Did I go down for this one? Uh, this is, is this the way to go? This is the, okay, wait. We did right first. This is a penalty for everyone. Right wall strats led us to the rat immediately. The rat was down here. Oh no, this was the mushrooms. Rat was through here. Yes. This is what I get. There's the rat. Rat, rat. That, the penalty is me having to do it again. Maybe the penalty was the rats we met along the way. And then the final thing. I'm gonna do this so much more efficiently. We need to know our way back, though. Somehow. Dead end. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Dead end. Do not go this way. You idiot. You dummy dumb. Alright, we go down. Chest scan the hole. Yes, okay. Now don't kill the rover. We're at 69 power. Nice. Need to screenshot that for the thumbnail. Alright, there you go. Now we need to go back to the loading deck. Dock, you piece. Is something gonna happen on the way back here? Hopefully not. We're fine, right? We're not gonna run out of battery. I don't think I went up this way. Did I? Um, I'm a little lost. Uh oh. We're not getting out of the pyramid with this one, boys. Never mind. There it is. Okay, we made it. Thank you. We've done the whole thing. Day one. Max. Diary 1711. 1992. We launched a rover for the first time today. Mackie handled it very confidently. So we were playing as Mackie. I watched closely with the hope that I would soon be able to drive it too. Mackie. I'm not too worried about the rat we found today. Given the circumstances, it's not surprising that small rodents were able to get inside the pyramid. What I'm really worried about is what it died of. You need to look into this more closely. Uh, it's, it's question mark. Subject A behaves with a special youthful enthusiasm when B tries to be more judicious and show leadership qualities. So far, no abnormalities in team, the team's behavior have been detected. The observer is talking in a creepy way. The journalist. All right. It is. This is definitely analog style. Ghost of Patriots. Thank you for the two here too. A journalist rescues. Wait. A journalist rescues his missing friend from the depths of the forest. What a story. They're going to regret kicking me out. Blues found zero out of seven. Uh, I'm a guy. I'm filming. I hear sounds. What was that sound? Just a radio. I found a clue. I wonder who wanted to throw a party in the middle of nowhere like this, huh? Wait, or is someone else here? Uh-oh. Someone else here? Hello? Is this kind of creepy, man? I don't... Is this Slender, man? Are we gonna do... <laughs> this is Slender in the seven pages? Anyone out here? I hear sounds over here, but it's just birds. 
Can I fall off the world? What happens if I go here? Will they just say nope? Yep, can't go there. All right, then. <laughs> seven pages, seven clues. What is this? Um, is that a skull? Yep, that's a bloody skull. All right, then. Oh, shit. This head is disfigured beyond recognition. I knew Jimmy as a kid. He could never do that. Do something like that. Hell, the guy couldn't even cook a steak. Just the sight of raw meat made him sick. Jesus frick. Who would do such a thing? I should get the hell out of here. On the other hand, an exclusive like this could win report of the year or even a Pulitzer Prize. A journalist investigates the murder of his friends. Here's my chance. You are a piece of shit, man. Alright, well, I guess. Oh, there's a house. You're gonna deserve whatever comes to you. You idiot. You should call the police. Society. Yeah, what a friend. <laughs> Not being like, oh, I want to figure out what happened to my, to my friend. No, it's just, oh, there's more people here. What the fuck? Looks like someone's personal journal. Most of the pages have traces of ink and some illegible nonsense. Huh? I still can read a few pages. It's been six months since we've been here, and there's been no progress on our research. Moreover, we simply do not have the equipment necessary for this level of research. I told our Mr. X about it, but nothing has changed in six months. We were told, just keep working, and how are we supposed to work under these conditions? Also, Max, he came up to me today and asked me to call him Maxine. What the hell is that? I don't know what to think about that. I think I'm slowly losing my mind. Well, it's been a year since we've been here. Um, Maxine has changed a lot, and my attitude towards her has changed a lot, too. It's crazy, but she's more feminine than any woman I've ever known. No one has been so so kind, gentle, and understanding with me, even in appearance. She's got breasts? What is this? This is a creepy guy, man. Maybe there was never a Max, and she was always Maxine. Maybe I'm just hallucinating and delusional from all this isolation. And I think there's some asshole living in a tent next to us. How did he get in here? Anyway, the delirium continues and I'm already just adrift in this crazy river. What the fuck is going on? I don't even know how to comment on all this yet. I think I should deal with this after I've gotten all the material together. Uh, that wasn't even a clue. Is this we go down into the pyramids? This is the rover. I've seen a thing like this before. There was a program on TV about it. About the pyramids. The scientists in this program couldn't get into the narrow openings of the pyramid by themselves, so they built a similar robot with a camera. They had a much simpler, simpler looking robot, but it got the job done. I wonder what this machine machine has seen that looks like the rover. Uh, well... Rip you. Uh, it's not Jim. <laughs> You can see a lot of wounds on his head. Looks like his face was smashed into the table. I don't even want to imagine who could have done it. This is going too far. I need to get out of here. A good has nothing. Tell us about... Wait, this is that exact area that we were looking at before? Uh, we found four clues. Is that enough? Can I open this door? I cannot open this door. Is that an elevator in the middle of the room? It looks like an elevator, but where does it go? I don't think I want to know the answer to that question right now. Okay, then. Do we have every... That is a large power outlet. Oh, cool. It's not Jim. It's another dead person. How nice. Okay, we need two more clues. Slender and the two remaining clues. If it's anything like Slender, it's going to be the hardest clues. Something behind the thing? No, we're probably going to have to run the hell out of here. Maybe. I don't know. Any clues out here? There was someone in a tent, they said, right? Wait a minute. Didn't they say something about a guy in a tent? Where's this tent? Uh, tent, tent, tent. I don't see no tent. They said there was a tent next to them. But I don't see it. Unless it's looking like a tree. Uh, out here there's a path. Nope. I mean, unless they mean next to us as in, like, really fucking far away from us, but that would be stupid. Uh, what's this? It's a giant mushroom? Hello? I've never seen a mushroom that big, huh? That's not even a clue? That's just a big mushroom? All right, then. 
sure. <laughs> They're growing out of the pyramid. Uh, what the frick? It's a big mushroom. We're the mouse? <laughs> I don't think we are a mouse. <laughs> that would be a plot twist and a half. Where's this tent, man? I hear sound. Isn't this where we started? Where's Mario? There's a Mario. It's a me, Mario. Um, I'm assuming there. Oh, there it is. is. That a tent? Or is that just a rock? Looks like a tent, maybe. It is a tent. Okay, we finally found it. What's down here? Hello. Uh, all right. <laughs> the stench is horrible. It's like the body already started to decompose. What the hell is this? If you look closely, you can see mushrooms growing out of the remains of the body. How could it grow so fast? And what kind of flesh-eating fungus is this? Hell, there's only half of his body here. It looks like whoever did this scattered the remains all over the woods. Whoever did this may still be around. I gotta get some more material and get out of here before I become a news story myself. You are... An idiot. Looks like it's Jim's personal journal. I think that is Jim right there. He wanted to record here every day the details of his survival in the woods. Looks like he went into the woods to prove his to his girlfriend that he is a tough guy. Mar Marcy, you said I'm not a man, that others are much more masculine than me, braver than me. So there, you're wrong, Jim writes. The underlining is completely illegible. He's writing something about the cabin next to him. Shack in the middle of nowhere. What is this place? Could the people in the cabin have done this to him and why? Oh, I've done it. Congrats, Jim. You are also dead. You're a man and you're dead. <laughs> Second descent. Here we go. Uh, something is telling me shit's gonna hit the fan. Okay, so now we're playing as... Uh, oh, there's more mushrooms. More mushrooms than yesterday. Uh, lots of biomaterial of unclear origin. Looks like mushrooms bursting through a mass of flesh. I've never seen anything like this before. Is this the same kind of carnivorous fungus that grew out of that rat's head? Maybe. Wait, how do you know it's carnivorous? Excuse me. It didn't look like that. I mean, I guess if it's growing out of a brain, that is like the logical assumption, but still. Are you the, are you the mushroom? Are you working for the mushroom, Mackie? This is suspicious. Are we in Resident Evil? Is this Resident Evil graphics? The cordyceps. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's just a straight up person. Hello? It's hard to describe in words what we encountered. I'm trying hard to hold it together, but my partner seems to be having a hard time. I need to reflect on what I've seen before we move forward. Yeah, that's just a body. Kind of disgusting. Is the rover gonna get jump scared? Please don't. Mackie, what a name. Um, we go right. Oh, there's another one. What the heck? Uh, that, why did that jump scare me? <laughs> I thought this wasn't gonna be the thing to scan. It is moving! Return the rover to the loading dock. Okay, well, that was a fast day. Literally all close together. Definitely brain-eating fungus. I like I like this C cave crawler was fun too, but I like how this is telling its story a little bit more clear. Cave crawler was like a little bit too, like uh, I don't know, up in the air for me what the story was. Here it seems a little more clear. Zoom ten times. Zoom fifty times. Zoom four hundred times. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. It's moving. The first month of research. Conclusions. A lot has changed this month. Everyone is tired. The research is progressing slowly, but I don't care. I feel different now. I think for the first time in my life, I feel who I really am. I'm scared and excited at the same time. Mackie, we've done a lot of research on the materials we found. One thing is certain, the pyramid does not consist of rock. 
It appears to be made of some kind of biomaterial. It's like a living organism, even though it's impossible. But after what I've seen, I'm willing to believe anything. Question mark. Something has clearly changed in sub object A. Object? Not even subject, just object. Object B doesn't notice it yet. He's too immersed in his work. Object A has emotional outbursts, sudden mood swings, skin rashes, which he does not pay attention to. Interrogation of subject S, number one. Uh, I don't know what the hell. Oh, interrogate subject S. Am I interrogating the mushroom? What is your name? How do you feel? What is your name? How do you feel? I feel disgusting. My whole body feels like it's on fire. I can't look at the light. Thank goodness you turn it off. It hurts my eyes. It's hard for me to speak. My throat is squeezing with incredible force. I seem to be feverish. I hear voices. Let me out. I need to see a doctor. You are dead, man. Are you attracted to people of your gender? Do you remember your mother's face? Mom. Mom, of course. I remember her face. She was blo- What the fuck is the sound? She was blonde, or wait, I think she was brunette. Brown eyes, shit I can't remember. Why can't I remember my mother's face? Mom? Mommy? Interview's over for today, that's all I have to say. Wait, where are you going? No, please, ask me something else. Anything you ask, I'll answer it. What do you want to hear? Help me. I'm sorry, but you're dead. Jimmy? Mr. Beast, hello? Last to take their hand off the mushroom gets to keep it. <laughs> well, it's my first night of survival in the wo Oh, it's me, Jimmy, of course. This is the 24 hours in the woods of a <laughs> prank gone wrong. You thought I wouldn't go for it, didn't you, Marcy? Jimmy is such a wuss, such a coward. Where the Were those your words, weren't they? But those were your words, weren't they? Well, look at Jimmy now, I'm sure. Right now, we're sitting watching this tape, and I can picture your face red with embarrassment. <laughs> exactly, Marcy. Shame on you for being so wrong about me. Dude, this guy is the cringe... <laughs> cringe master. Because Jimmy is not the sucker you think he is. I'm a real survivalist who can spend the night alone in the woods. Literally dies on first try. What an idiot. What was that? Maybe it's those guys from the cabin? I better turn off the lights, but I'll leave the camera on just in case. You see, Marcy, the horrors I'm willing to endure for you. Oh, no. Got my toilet paper. I got the Holy Bible. Um. Hi. Hello. Who's out there? Yeah, I would be noping the fuck out of here. I mean, what the hell? Um. Someone digging a hole? What? <laughs> you fucking idiot, the battery's not. Hi. I think someone's standing outside my tent. You are fucking dead, sir. Hello? Maso... Masospora? A male... A healthy male cicada. Male cicada infected with Masospora fungus. Masospora. Cicadas are affected by a fungus called Masospora cicadina, which alters their behavior and anatomy. The fungus grows inside their bodies and makes them lose their rep reproductive organs. The females still behave normally, but the males change their mating signals. They stop singing and start flicking their wings like females. This attracts other males who get infected by the fungus when they try to mate with them. The fungus spreads this way? Damn, is this real? This is insanely... This is some big brain fungus shit. <laughs> is that real? That's a real thing? That's kind of sick. I, I was... There was a time in my life when I was super interested in like brain eating... Uh, brain controlling type of fungus there's another one that is like that's like the more well-known one the one that like controls ants to go up into a grass stalk and then get eaten by something else so then it spreads that way right that one's interesting what the hell is this place 
Is this the squishy room? Is, is Maxine gonna... Oh, no. Max is being infected by the fungus as well. I feel like a rat in a maze. You might literally be. That's, yeah, that's uh, what The Last of Us is based on. I still need to watch The Last of Us show. I've, I've played the first game. Uh, but I haven't... What the hell's going on here? There are papers scattered all over the floor. Apparently, there are some kind of... These are some kinds of reports. A sort of personal diary in a corporate style. This... Any tryptophobia or whatever, people? Uh, uh, press C to crouch. I already did that. Hi, sir. Damn it! What's this? It looks like the poor guy is being slowly devoured. Totally worth it. It's a good show. Uh, can I, I... You give me a recommendation of The Last of Us. I give you a recommendation right back. Highly recommend watching the One Piece, like, live-action remake. Uh, I've heard of all the other live-action remakes that Netflix just completely fucks it up, but this one's actually good. Um, I've been watching, like, a few episodes. Haven't finished it yet, obviously. I wouldn't want to be in this place. In his place. Surprisingly good. It surprised me, at least. I never watched the anime. Uh, I'm gonna maybe go here. The One Piece is real. Is it really? Hey, lady, are you okay? What's she doing? She seems to be... She's licking those walls. She's into it. She doesn't even notice me. What the fuck? You got your pants pulled? What is happening? <laughs> Excuse me? I can't show this. Why are you naked, lady? Why are you licking the walls? <laughs> this is concerning. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, time to stand back up. This is disgusting, man. Mmm, yeah, wall so tasty. Ice cream so good. Can't go that way. And this camera movement and FOV. This is like 20 degrees FOV. Like, this is the most claustrophobic FOV I've ever seen in a video game. Uh, this is the end time to lick. Is that rats? Rats, rats, we are the rats. Feels bad, man. More scattered papers. I think I can make out what's written on some of them. I've had enough ever since we got together with Maxine, that observer. Yeah, I know what he's up to. I know he wants to take her away from me, but you won't have her. Oh no, I won't let you. I know you read all our records. I'm sure that's why you were sent here to keep an eye on us. As for Maxine, don't you realize... Don't you think I realize she's been paying less attention to me because of you? What are you saying to her? You're turning her against me, aren't you? It's not gonna work. I'll get what's coming to you. Um... Or you'll get what's coming to you. I don't know. I read that poorly. Uh, lick the walls. Mr. Steelio girl. What the hell? Am I just walking backwards? Hello? Um. Came from here, right? Did I? I don't know if I did. Hello? There's something over here. Uh, yep. All right. Time to die out here. Uh, sir? Looks like the body of the guy from the cabin. Those tentacles. Grouse. Rip that, dude. I love the sounds of me walking on the floor. <laughs> I love how they just squished a wall here to fit the tiles. Beautiful. Oh, oh, one more note before we die. That's it. Maxine went wild and ran off into the woods. It's okay. I'll find her, especially with that damn Mr. X out of the way. Okay, so they killed the guy sitting at the desk. I see. It felt so good hitting his stupid head with a hammer. Bang, 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 bang. Blood all over the place. Now no one's gonna get in the way of me and Maxine. Wait, 
That idiot in the woods. What if Maxine went to that asshole in the tent? Shit, I gotta remember to get the hammer. Oh no! <laughs> they killed Jimmy. Well. Ripperoni Jimmy. So wait. Max Maxine is or Max and Maxine are the same person. They're being infected. And but the other person is doing all the damage. Maxine has changed a lot. She's become kind of wild. Now she won't even talk to me. Sometimes I see her sitting in a corner muttering something about when I approach her. She runs away. But when I approach her, she runs away. What he did to you, Maxine. It's your fault. I don't know what you did to my Maxine. You bastard, but you'll pay for it. And that asshole from the woods, a real idiot. How did he even get in here? He's no problem now, though. I should focus my attention on Mr. X. Is that the wall licker? Maybe. Oh, he... Wait. Oh, he's the one infected. It affects his mind, I guess. Uh, wait a minute. This was not... No, no, no. It can't be. No way. Oh, fuck me. Well, inter... Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm stuck down there. Guess I'm gonna lick the wall. <laughs> Irrigation of Subject S. Wait, is... Am I? Was that Subject S? Okay, we'll go with the lights this time. Yeah, the boss has asked that he be clearly visible. Apparently his grunting wasn't enough for them. They want to see it. Well, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Hello. Who am I talking to right now? We asked how do you feel last time, right? Did we? Who am I talking to right now? Or do we... No, no, no. We asked what was your name, didn't we? Let's just ask who am I talking to right now. My name is Phil. I am a journalist! Or was at least before, I see. Now I'm... Uh, oh my god. Okay, so this is the journalist guy. Oh, mother of ours, thank you for the 15. I'm in an unbearable kind, unbearable ocean of pain. How did you get inside the pyramid? What do you think? Ha what, how do you get inside the pyramid? I remember when I was shooting a report in the woods, I was about to leave and I saw a man. He had a hammer in his hands. He started to approach me quickly and I realized I had to run. I ran and then I just fell into some hole in the ground. It hurt. It really hurts me. Can you explain to us exactly what this pyramid is? The pyramid is everywhere. It spreads out underground for miles. It is thousands of years old. It contains the memory of all generations. And my memory. Ugh. We have no more questions. Wait, where are you going? You promised! What? Are we? I mean, I guess we're getting him. Thank you. There you go. We're, we're taking him out of his mer mer misery. Feels bad, man, though. Jesus. Goodbye, sir. Bye, fail. And no! I wanted to see more. That was sick, dude. End of interactive reenactment. Report your conclusions to the administrator. If you still have questions, go through the reconstruction again. Thank you. Alrighty, well, so that was it. No, wait, it just fully loads me out of the game. Uh, that game came out like a few days ago. It seems like it's, it's either just like one of those VHS mystery games or it's building up something else. But yeah, basically no one has played this game. 14 reviews. That's why I wanted to check it out. Uh, and yeah, that was the Pyramid Curse. Definitely interesting. Hope you enjoyed it over on YouTube. I like it when the game, when the games like this that are like obviously talking about some mystery are actually like understandable. Like obviously, I mean, I don't I don't know exactly like it seems like uh mackie got infected right and then his perception of max changed into thinking that max was maxine and that people were trying to steal him steal her from him and then he just started going buck wild and then feeding the bodies of the people that he killed to the uh the fungus but yeah obviously there's a few questions but at least the overarching structure is clear and i hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely game is here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash system or get the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye Alrighty, let's go okay so far we've had good games let's see last one for today uh the windows are gone is the next title
uh, for the mods in chat who want to fill that in. Also made with Unity. All games still made with Unity. That's going to change relatively soon if they keep up the bullshit that they've been doing. Uh, what's going on? Skinamarink time. What is the Skinamarink? I need to look up some YouTube videos about that. Uh, here we go. The windows are gone by Scary Cube. That's the name of the creator. Boom. Can I please show up? It's not showing up. I guess I have to do a window capture for this one. Windows are gone. That is not the game. Excuse me. That is the... Ah. Okay, this is... Oh, wait. I did the wrong thing. There we go. Automatic. Boom. There's the game. All right, let's check the settings. Uh, I could turn that up, but I think we leave it. Field of view, 80, 90. The sound is fine. All right, here we go. Apply changes. Get me in. It's an experimental horror film. Dude, what is the sound? Excuse me? In my dream... Wait, the game is not... Why is it not changing for you guys? Stop! Why was it just... <laughs> Why was the... I, I was looking at a different screen than you guys were. That is... I think I have to change this. Uh, to be like this. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why OBS, OBS has more problems with this than Streamlabs OBS had for some reason. Jesus Christ, even though they're literally the exact same piece of software. I don't know what what's going on with that. All right, here we go. Start. I hope it saved my settings. <clears throat> See? In my dreams. I see this house. Dude, I'm being blasted, man. Oh, this is the house. I'm gonna... Sorry, I'm gonna take a <laughs> quick uh, quick detour to lower the volume uh, before we all die of ear rupture. Jesus Christ. <laughs> At least it's... Start Here we go. Options... It did not save my FOV. Audio, I'm going to say 60%. Maybe just literally 50%. Let's do 50% of what it was. 60. There we go. Start. Oh boy. It's still loud, but it's like half as loud. <clears throat> Here we go. In my dreams, I see this house. Oh my god, it's still loud. I'm gonna turn it down more. See this house? Which house? There we go. Uh, it's a very nice house, to be honest. I wouldn't mind seeing that in my dreams. I feel it calling for me. Oh. We're driving. HQW. Ever since the accident, we're in cinematic intro over here. A nice pink house in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> At least the neighbors won't complain about the color. Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in the Mariana. Mariana? I've heard of the Mariana Trench. For a truck driver, this is gonna just be the whole game. It's gonna be me driving this truck right here. So I answered it. I'm upside down, dude. This is making me disorient to the cell. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Put me right side up. Why am I upside down? Windows are gone. Wait, did the house not have windows? Uh, this is weird. F. Continue. Hi, honey. How are you? How are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. I couldn't do it. 
I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in the Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way right there right now. Actually, I'll text you once I get there. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. Is the, is the Mariana an actual place? Oh my god, this sensitivity though? Wait, I need to fix that real quick. Um, can I not? Controls, camera, and display. Guess I'll have to do it myself. There we go, that's better. Press tab to pick up your phone. From mom to you. All right, be careful on the road. Love you, reply. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside and we'll text you later. Okay. That's a very sharp phone. There are definitely windows. Press M to pick up the map of the house. Okay, we get another message. Hey, that's supposed to me. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. There's many boxes. This box has upstairs master bedroom written on it. Dude, I have to do moving IRL in a few months. Don't make me go through this in a video game as well. God damn it. All right, pick it up. There we go. Gonna be moving. What would it say? Upstairs master bedroom. God damn it. <laughs> Hello. This is a nice place though. Like, I mean, it's gonna be in the middle of nowhere. That's a downside, right? Um, place it. Wait. Where'd the box go? Excuse me. Wait, this box. Why does it teleport back to here? This box has upstairs master bedroom. I know. I'm trying to pick it up, man. Grab. There we go. What a weird set of controls. I broke the game. I am like levitating this box three f meters in front of me. All right, here we go. One box at a time. Game is trolling me. Master bedroom is over here. Can I, like, at least place it on the ground? There, place it, okay. That is just a storage room. That is a single room. That is a bathroom. Wait, this is, this is not a master bed? It said upstairs, right? There an, oh, there's another room right here. Yeah, that's a nice house. Are you going to be living here all by yourself? Seems a little excessive, don't you think? Why are you even- what are you moving in here? Wait, there's already furniture and everything. Can I have that too? I don't want to buy my own furniture. You're damn hacking. Alright, well, one box, I guess. Next box, here we go. There are windows, zero out of ten. <laughs> I've been lied to. The description was fake. Okay. I will. Oh my. I actually have to go. What, what did this one say? Oh my god. Inspect. Upstairs guest bedroom. God damn it. I'm gonna assume. Can't wait for more seven days to die video. I really hope that my final fix that I did today is gonna work. Because if not, then I have to cancel the seven days to die series. Because I just physically cannot record the game. Because it has crashed a total of 23 times until now. And I just haven't been able to figure out a way to solve the crashes. It's just like, I want to play the game so bad, there's just no way. The game is just beyond broken. This box has living room in on it. Yeah, hopefully... I, it was like one of the most frustrating days of recording I've ever had. Like, I just tried, keep kept trying to fix it. But it just didn't work. Yeah, hopefully now. I, it, it's also like, it's an OBS. Well, it's not an OBS issue. That's what I assumed. That's why I try to focus mostly on fixing OBS. But that was, well, what does this say? It says downstairs office. Because it only happens when I am playing, uh, when I'm recording it on OBS. It's a kitchen. Never on an office. This is a bathtub. Is it actually downstairs, like in the basement? And never when I'm playing it by myself. The basement door is locked. I wonder if the key is somewhere around in the house. Uh, what the fuck? Dude, this house is absolutely massive. That's the office. It's not a pool. This is a bathtub. That might be one of the best lines 
of all time. This game understands my emotions. I don't know what is going on. I was not expecting to have to move in 10 boxes at the beginning of this video game. So we were gonna inspect, what is this? Upstairs guest bedroom? Didn't I already do that one? Wait. I swear I already did that one. This music do be kind of chill. How are we number 675 if there's no one here? What kind of millionaire's row is this? This is, oh, bedroom versus, this was bathroom? Oh, I see, Jesus. And this is fancy. We're going interior design mode. With our whole own bathroom with a bathtub. This is some interesting color choice, but sure. This is a real life simulator. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. We're almost done though. Box is upstairs master bedroom. Wait, didn't I already? Wait, did I put the wrong box in somewhere? Master bathroom. I read the wrong thing again. Hey, the true step pro, what's up? Can't run while having a box. These are all interesting gaming decisions, honestly, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? This is a night. What the hell is this wallpaper? And uh, can... wait, hello? Who was out here? I was just moving in my boxes, lady. Are you the neighbor? Oh no, you're not a lady. Or maybe. Hello there. You must be our new neighbor. Yes, I am. Oh, my mouse. You can see how low I have to put my sensitivity. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? I do, yes. A couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right-hand side. My husband and I, she pauses for a few seconds. I live there. Oh, no. Feels bad, man. Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people here. Can you tell me about it? You look familiar. Do I know you? Can I help you with anything? Can you tell me about it? Well, Mariana is a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, oh yes. Make sure you visit the Aurakarias Park when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. Beautiful trees. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences. You uh, absolute racist. Excuse me. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's what they say. Small world. And in any case, we know each other now. We're known for our friendliness and our racism. <laughs> uh, all right, continue. Can I help you? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and that the new owner could be here today. So I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. You didn't have to. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter? Wait, excuse me? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. You know this house? This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one, in a way. I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. All right, then? Now, do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, all right? He nods and smiles. What the fuck? All right, um, you are creepy as shit. You just left some- a plate of crostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. Do we eat it? We eat it. I'm eating all of them. Yum, yum. I'm totally gonna get drugged and killed here. She's still gonna be there? Lady? Oh, she's gone. This note just says, Welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? She just freaking bolted off. All right, well, we only got a few boxes left to go. Here we go. Upstairs storage. Uh, as I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That, combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor, made me realize I was exhausted. I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. Let's go! No more boxes! Finally done with the damn boxes! I right, close the door. 
Lock the door. I can't lock the door. And then someone's gonna watch me sleep. My par sleep paralysis demon. Uh, I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but I'll have to. I don't have to do for now. Should also turn up the volume. It apparently is it's one of those games where the music is like a billion decibels and everything else is like quiet as fuck. No pillows? Yeah, where the hell are my pillows? <laughs> I'm just gonna lay on a bed without a blanket or a pillow. Excuse me. Don't need to lock the door. They're all friendly. Smiley face. This is some like. Am I gonna close my eyes or what? Why is my mouse on the screen? Excuse me. Hello. All right then. I guess we're going to bed. <laughs> Or a blanket? No blanket required where we're going. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Because you're in the house. <laughs> Probably because I was finally here. Will you wake up in the basement? In the murder basement? No, this time I had a different dream. Usually I play games that like they move the text away way too fast. This game is like for the slowest readers possible. <laughs> Displacement in the basement. What the hell? Uh, oh, hello. Look at wife. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. By myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Oh no, this is gonna end badly, isn't it? Honey, are you gonna be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. Have you called your mother? Ah, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you, and please remember the highway is blocked. Now, please hurry. I will. Hold on tight. Let me look at the road, actually. <laughs> Seems important. Um, can I steer? I can't do anything. I'm just gonna look at the road. Not be distracted. Maybe we can avoid this evident or uh, accident, even though we're driving around in hell, basically. Do I have to look around? What road? Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're in the fires of hell right now. Oh! What the fuck? Holy shit, that scared the hell out of me. Oh my god, what is going on, Jessica? Uh, alright. Well. She's fine? I don't think she's fine. Help. I am actually in hell. What? What is going on? Rest in peace. What the? F Why is it so quiet? Why is it dripping? What? What is this shit? What is happening? <laughs> this is a fucking fever dream, dude. Uh, all right. Well, that was a sad dream right there. I thought we were playing as a lady at first. Uh, alrighty. God, what a horrible nightmare. Yeah, you don't say. That dripping noise, I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? From the bathroom? Probably. No. Rippy in the downstairs? Basement? The basement's open now. Uh-oh, tape. VHS tape labeled tape to the accident. I could take this to a VHS player and play it. I can't pick it up though. So you're actually lying. Maybe I should play the first one first because I saw another tape up here. This one. A VHS tape labeled tape one. My family. I could probably take this to a VHS player and play it. Okay. Well, I think I have to find the VHS player first. Uh, we got a leak. Oh, great. There's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. Get a weird feeling about this, though I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake this odd feeling I have thinking about it. Well, how is it dripping if this is like under like isn't my house above this? Like, where's the water coming from? Are my pipes pipes leaking, I guess? But I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. Yeah, the liquid doesn't look like water. Uh this is kind of a 
empty basement you got but i guess you're moving in so that makes sense Alrighty, no more creepy people at the door please i just want to go to bed and sleep the night away i guess it's not even night i'm not sure if I yes lie down i have more dreams calling the homeowner association right now gotta fix a leak like that asap i mean it's probably been here for a really long time Game is like, this game's got no 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 time to waste. Or <laughs> no. this game's got a lot of time to waste, I should say. Just taking its time. Oh, okay. We just literally just lay down and get back up. I guess. Alrighty then. No dreams this time. That's good. Um, the dripping. Are we gonna fix it now, or are we gonna first do our boxes? Good morning, son. Okay. Your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Gotta love dad calling good morning, son. Is that a thing that, like dads actually do? You always see that in like movies and stuff. Hey, dad. Well, you know. Dot, dot, dot. I can't respond. No. Uh, sorry. I know. I'm sorry. And how's the new house? Is it all you were hoping for? It's okay. I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and I got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. Okay. Guess we're gonna do boxes again. Oh, uh, is that the same note? It just says, welcome home. This is like some liminal house, though. The box says upstairs main hallway. All right. You have a sudden urge to buy a Nokia brick phone. You're missing a box? Am I? Does it matter? Boop. Just drop it at the... Th Am I going to be able to walk over that? I hope so. The VCR is going to be in one of these boxes. Upstairs storage. I wish I could throw this box. Speed run that way. Nokia phone. Remember when BlackBerry thought that the, smart the future of smartphones was the keyboard? And then they like went bankrupt because they misunderstood the market? And people just want to touch screens instead. Rip Blackberry. The biggest, biggest, like, business mistake of all time. Like, Blockbuster over here. <laughs> like, no, people want to buy DVDs. This box has downstairs bathroom. Down, oh, downstairs. You mean ground floor? Yeah, phones. Phones are so big now. It's like. Annoying as fuck. I loved having a keyboard. I never had a Blackberry. My dad had one. Or understood it. Just, I remember playing Brick Breaker on my dad's Blackberry. That shit was awesome, though. You guys had a good Brick Breaker. I, I gotta give it to you. But besides that, it was... It wasn't this very special phone. Alrighty, here you go. I've done all the boxes. You happy now? As I was bringing in these boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself that what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or to need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was, in this unfamiliar place, with no one else but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. And with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Why did you buy such a, like, large house? <laughs> So I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home, so I set in out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. You're gonna be, like, having to drive through the stores for 10 million years every day? You can now open the boxes, decorate the house to your liking? Interesting. Uh, oh, there's a VHS player right here. I see a working VHS player. Can we play these tapes? Okay, I couldn't grab these before. Okay, let's see. Play the tape. Uh-huh. As the tape starts playing, I, s I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in the same house that I'm in. He's all this, he's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family. They can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. 
His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. Can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's this underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure, tempting me to bite it o and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. What the fuck? It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. Tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground while the mother tends to the crying boy. The father disingenuously or just disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness as if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where they are now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? Like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. What the heck? There was another tape in the... In the basement here. Tape labeled 2. Was it, This tape was called The Accident? Uh, gotta put that on the ground. Well, I gotta put it in the tape recorder. I'll read your message later, Mom. I'm busy. Uh, the tape shows that a man who I was... Who I assume was the previous owner of this house working in the... Wait. Working in the basement. With the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what is happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, that it has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him mentioned the terrible event will be his fault watching him i can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow it's as if he knows that i'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me the way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened but then why is he doing this why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening and what's the point of these tapes what the hell i'm not replying to my <laughs> it's okay well, what's happening uh everything good Reply. I can't reply anymore. Hey, man, how are you doing? My brother-in-law, my mom, everyone's texting me. Hey, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. Can I respond again or... No? Um... Alright then, well, we can open the boxes. Open. What? We are... It's house... House decoration mini game. What the hell? Um... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, yeah, same here. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you, man. Feels bad, man. I know, and she hated your gut! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, alright, I'm gonna... Dude, old-timey radio. We got so much stuff. Uh, put the vase. Where do we put the vase? We put the vase right there. Uh... Ah uh, ha ha ha! Oh yeah, I know. But seriously, I wasn't. It wasn't your fault, man. Remember that, right? Just right. Uh, what a response, fan. Can I rotate stuff? E to rotate. Can I put that on the television? Can I make the like most insane house of all time? I'm gonna put this fan in the hallway right here. Can I? Even? I mean, I guess. Who's gonna stop me? You're not gonna stop me. Okay, just, can you guys freaking calm down? Take care. Can't reply back. I, they're like, fuck you. Um, hello. This is not even the same color remotely, but whatever. We'll put it right there. We're gonna be decorating the whole. This is a good training for when I move into my own house. <laughs> Although I not, I'm not gonna have much stuff to take with me. Uh, oh no, the picture. That's gonna have an important place next to the TV here. Can I put it there? Yes. That's so the, the I should probably not have put it there. That's like the depression zone. 
That clock goes on the wall. Just so you know at any point that when you're watching TV that you're wasting your time away. Uh, looks right there. Can I pl even place it there underneath? I feel like there's not that many places I could put this. Like all the items. Uh, DVD player, very important. I put it on top of this one. I can't. Well, because it goes over there. And the vase. There we go. The vase next to the other vase. Next to the television. Doesn't fit. Uh, next to here. There we go. Beautiful. Get rid of the box. The box is empty. We're not going to get rid of the box. All right, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. House flipper over here. All right, let's do the kitchen. What's in the kitchen? Box is kitchen. Oh my God, so much damn stuff. It's too much stuff. All right, whatever. Just freaking throw it down. Can I just put it all on the to on the... Too much shit, man. Goes on the wall. Goes on the table. Did I leave that door open? Goes over there. All right, there you go. Beautiful kitchen. Go fuck yourself. Um, boom. <laughs> oh, hello there. I was just uh, beautifully decorating the kitchen while you came in. Hello. Um, is that a black hole? It's an abyss anomaly, guys. Uh, what the fuck? All right, there's definitely something going on. <laughs> tape on the dining tape on the dining table. Was it there before? I don't remember that being there. Oh, wait a minute. I can't even pick up the tape. Hello? Something going on? Uh, listen to the static. The TV turned itself on and I can just about make out the sound over the static. Is that someone crying? Oh, uh, someone's opening the door. Hello? Did I even open this? Huh? Baby clothes. No, feels bad, man. Uh-oh. The room that in the maternity photo album, the room that never came to be. Uh, painting. Badge. Other painting. What the hell is that? This is some messed up painting. This is bad, man. Alrighty then, we return to decorating. Here we go. Computer, that's important. We gotta make sure that's alright. Telephone. Wait, what? Expect? I don't have enough credits on my cell phone to make calls. If I need to call someone, I'll have to use this phone. Interesting. Dial 911. I can't. I can't dial 911. All right. But I can actually use the items. Phone book, maybe read. I bought this phone book on my way here, and I'm glad I did. I'll have to look for an... For a plumber lately about that leak in the basement. Wait, can I? All right, I guess I'll look later. Can we also use the computer? We cannot use the computer. All right. Interesting. Uh, this room. I was busy here. Hills. Don't know what that is. Trash can. Toothbrush holder. That's too many toothbrushes for one person. Bath mat. Boop. Oh, another text. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Hello. All right. What now? Grab the tape again. Yeah. Can we grab this tape? We can. VHS tape number three. Rumble. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here yesterday. I want to make sure I get this text conversation though. Because I think the text conversation should get skipped if you read the tape. Um... We're currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Let me know when you have an update. Wait, the back door is gone? What? <laughs> Wait, excuse me? What is happening here? By the way, sorry for your loss. The insurance company does not give a damn, dude. They do not give a shit. 
the, as the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in the darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and, just as inexplicably, disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel him pulsating beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feeling. The man appears to be ex the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret. Yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape, and, and I keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times seems to be part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. He stammers, feeling of regrets, and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being, as if we somehow shared consciousness. I'm in the midst of my own... Of in the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed, and I almost, almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet I still feel like this was needed somehow. What the hell? Oh, yeah. The fuck? What was that noise? I think it came from the basement? Are the windows gonna be disappearing one at a time? This is getting mighty spooky. What the frick? Oh god, what is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing. It's making me feel lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Uh, what? Okay, we're gonna call the plumber then, I guess. Uh, plumber over here. Where was the office? Just put a bucket underneath. I mean, it's not gonna fix the roof from leaking. All right, plumber time. But are we not gonna do the plumber? We're just gonna continue our business. Did anyone call us, by the way? Uh, from nine seven. Do we call back? Nine seven nine seventy thirty six eight. Nine seventy thirty six eight. I hear baby cry. All right, I get it. I get it. It's a crying baby. Jesus Christ. Reply. Who is this? What the frick? Um. All righty then. This is getting a little more cursed. I think we're down. We're done downstairs here. Hallway. What's in the hallway? Yeah, photo album. Picture frame. Some ugly ass sculpture. The door- the front door is gone? I didn't- oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. What the hell? Alright, this shit is going- going bad fast. Encyclopedia set. Throw that over here. Oh boy. We're gonna be moved in here and everything is gonna be blocked. Uh, pillow. Finally, we're getting pillows. We should have taken the pillow out before we- Uh... Before we went to bed. Radio clock. Lampshade. Did I still get a call? I did not get a call. Math mat. That was... Her. Laundry... The laundry basket in the guest room? I mean, I guess. Toothbrush holder. Hello? Um... Someone knocking on the window? 
that upstairs or downstairs? Where the fuck is this? It's upstairs, I think. Um, I don't know where the fuck this sound is coming from. It's not coming from the basement. It's coming from like up in the attic. Uh, I don't know. There's no windows. Where are you knocking on, sir? I can't find this garbage. Oh, is there a window? I don't see any. Maybe it is in the basement. Oh, it is in the basement. Hello there. Uh oh. I've been locked in the basement. Never mind. Still dripping. Hi. Um. Um. Help. Help. Help! Something is blocking the door. Uh, it's a bit anomaly when you don't report it in observation duty. Please escape. I don't know what I'm looking at. What the fuck? All right, then. I'm in hell. It's me from the tape I watched. Oh, yeah, the guy in the basement, maybe? The veins you saw in the video. Uh, hi. Oh, no. Slowly running closer. Uh-oh. Game is insanely cursed. Feels bad, man. Honey, I'm home. Oof, bye. All right, then. Um, <laughs> this door is locked now. It's extremely dark. It was your fault. From mom to me. What? <laughs> this bad. Wait, the world is upside down. Such a disappointment. Why are you saying this? It is the whole kitchen upside down too. Yep. It's upside down world. It's where mom hates me. Oh, I can't even go upstairs. <laughs> Do we watch television? Can't inspect the television. Hello? But I heard someone walking around. Can I escape? I can't reply. Uh, this way? Oh boy. Back in the basement? I don't even know what the hell is happening, man. Is that a, my wife on the ceiling? Uh, my wife is actually a spider. Wife spider? Hi. Spider wife. Spider wife. Does whatever it... Sorry. Direct. A VHS labeled tape for birth. I could probably take this to a VHS player and play it. I put it in? Oh, there it is. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, distorted reflection of the man's tortured psyche. The scene is a collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, and deeply unsettling feelings somehow merged, somehow merged and playing all at once. It's an incoherent mess. I can barely make out what I'm seeing. It frightens me to my core, and at the same time, it's sort of beautiful and makes sense to me. 
man's face and body are completely distorted beyond recognition. If I ever knew who, who he was before, I can no longer and never will again. But at this moment, I feel an overwhelming er surge of empathy for him. As if his pain reverberated within my own body. The tape becomes a conduit for his suffering, a mirror reflecting my own battle along with his. The fragments of his voice reaching my ears like shards of broken glass speak a foreshadowed catastrophe that has shattered his world just like mine. In the midst of the chaos, there's a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering and glitching screen, a fleeting recognition that sends a chill down my spine. He's now fully aware of my presence, and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. And then, in a crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath. My heart pounding in my chest, the darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I'm left grappling with the fragments of this shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. The man is gone forever now. The tape has become a portal into the darkest recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that lurk within. Jesus. Um, hello. You gonna jump scare me? Oh, I just, you just made me look at you. Okay, I thought there was just gonna be something that happened there. Ma'am, get down from there. That's not... You're not supposed to be up there. Stalking? I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime forming from the leak in the, ce in the ceiling. It gives off a horrible stench that makes me nauseous, lightheaded, and disoriented. It looks alive. Uh, okay, then... I don't think I go back there. Do we go back through the office door? It's gonna be an endless loop. Uh, what? These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. These paint- yes. How do you know that? I guess they're signed. Okay, what the fuck is this noise? Oh, no, it's Spider-Wife. Spider-Wife, no. Kind of a cool painting. Uh, that's just a dead end. That is not very healthy noises. I am lost in the sauce. Oh, this is where we came from. Thank God the sounds are gone. Are you not... Do you not have your volume turned on? I don't know where the frick I'm going. Do I have to inspect all of the paintings? Is that what I'm doing? On the Silent Hill is going on. I have no idea. Wait, this is a different door though, right? No, it's not. Do I inspect these? No, these are all this. It's all just the same. Paintings are all painted. Okay, well, I guess we go back. Hello, you're still there. Just, you're just staring at me. Um, I'm confused. Can't go upstairs, right? No, I can't. Alright, well, it's gotta be either in the basement, which I don't think... Well, unless we go backwards, but that doesn't really make much sense. Unless it does. Unless it does. Hello? There were some creepy noises immediately as soon as I walked over here. Can't interact with this television, strangely enough. Yeah, I don't think there is. The door is locked. Get the ceiling in the basement? Oh, uh, maybe. What is happening here? Even the window in the basement is gone now? Inspect all the pages? Did I already do that, though? I guess I... The sound isn't even over there. The sound is like over here, upstairs. All right, well, sure. I mean, we already expected the, inspected the pages. Let's do left wall strats. Okay, this just leads to nowhere. Left wall strats will be our savior. I'm sure, we'll interact with everything as well while doing left wall strats. Oh, there we go. Left wall strats. 
Okay. Uh, it's growing. Can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repul- Yeah, you already said that. Uh, definitely looks bigger this time, though. Everything is disappearing. Can I go upstairs now? Can still not go upstairs. Hi. She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Me? Honey, you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfectly. I did. I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. You remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? Yes, what does God look like? Huh, it's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know? Honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. It was all my fault. I really miss you. But I see him now. She smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Yes, I see him too. I'm sorry, but I don't. Let's just be nice to the lady. Wonderful, isn't it? So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. And trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to take care for now. To care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Okay, are you gonna disappear? Um, I hear the crying. I go back to the basement. Was there another door to go out of here? Doesn't seem like there's anywhere else. Maybe up here? Making sure. Oh no. Do you hear that? Our baby is crying. The poor thing. I should go check on her. Baby room. We can't go upstairs though, right? The stairs were blocked. Unless it's open now. No, it's still blocked. Stairs do not work. Oh, uh, hi. Look at you, honey. See, I told your father you're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here, and Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Honey, I think it's time I let you go. No, no, you know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. Really want you want to satiate her hunger. Say she's whatever the word. I can't see her suffering like this. I can't join you. I'm so sorry. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now. Then, pity you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. That was bad, man. I'm sorry, but this is gonna lead to bad things if I let that go through. Um. All right, then. <laughs> Goodbye. Join your climb. No, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I thought I was just going to inspect it. All right. Well, I don't think I had another choice anyway. Because I couldn't leave. Whoops. It's, I love how everything has like several different dialogue options. This is just, yeah, go into the slurry. <laughs> the fuck? There are two endings? Wait, what? I tried opening the door, but I couldn't. Ever since the accident. Excuse me? Oh, you have to wait and then exit? Okay. This game requires a lot of patience. Guilt has haunted me. I mean, this is, pro I, this is probably the bad ending. Are you like, uh, just kill yourself, I guess? <laughs> And the other one is like the acceptance ending. Definitely an interesting game. Just a, and then not too slow paced for me. For my personal liking. Like I, I was just where I allowed myself. To, I was just not signed up for like playing. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> 
uh, like unboxing a bunch of items. I was just, I was just, if I knew that going into it, then I might have been able to set my expectations. It's like watching Oppenheimer and not knowing it's going to be a three hour movie. Like if you know going into Oppenheimer that it's so long, it's not as bad, but I did not expect it would go like this. Well, rip. <laughs> I wish I would have done the other ending though. You got the bad ending? That's because you're a piece of shit and didn't let me leave. All right, well, um, let's see. I, I just want to know the good ending just so we can uh, not feel, have a bad, can we continue? I, I think we're just going to look it up. Let's see, what is the good ending? Um, the windows are gone, what was the name? The windows, what was the name of this game? The windows are gone. The windows are gone. Good ending. Let's see. Is this what voice act or. Don't think this is. The ending. A good ending. Oh, here we go. Okay, leave ending. Okay, so you leave the door instead. Yes, and then you're back in the normal basement, which is what I wanted to do. Yes. We got all the secrets though, yeah. Leak seems to have stopped. Okay. It's not centered. Is it too... Probably too big, huh? How did that... Uh, properties... How do I do this? I guess I could just window capture it instead. It's zoomed. Windows are gone. There we go. Is that normal? That looks normal to me. Oh. A little quiet. And then you just leave? I feel like this door should remain locked. <laughs> I see. Someone knock on the door? Why did you get a, a house with a baby room in it? Let me just leave. Leave the house. Okay, what What else now? Ever since the accident. Oh, whoops. Black screen. Guilt has haunted me. That's the same. So I built a labyrinth. That's the exact same. And found my way out. Oh. Okay. It's the, the only difference is the final line. Found my way out instead of... What was the... What was our line? Our line said something like, I died or what? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be disrespectful. Um, what was the line that we had? I don't remember. Um, oh, that I got lost in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Lamal, I don't know. All right, anyway. Well, that was uh, the Windows Are Gone. Definitely a good game, by the way. Don't get me wrong. Like, I... Uh, it's just what... It's like... It's, it's exactly what I said. If I knew that that was going to be an Oppenheimer, I would have probably enjoyed it more, but I thought it was going to be more like Laundry Killer, <laughs> which it definitely wasn't, which is okay. Some games, uh, some games are different than other games. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. Perfectly in time. You finished all the game I wanted. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna go find someone to raid, but before we do that, let me link you the video from today. I will see you all tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna be early tomorrow, because I really want to finish the recording of, uh, Seven Days to Die, which has taken me three days now, because it keeps fucking crashing. I hope I'll be able to fix it, but anyway. If you guys haven't seen the second part, or third part, I guess, of Shadows of Doubt, uh, you'll never guess who the killer was in this episode. Go check it out. You might know it if you see the thumbnail, but you're going to have to figure it out yourself. I won't spoil anything. Let's see who's live right now. If you want to wish Psycho a happy birthday, go over to Psycho. Say hi right there. Uh, he's actually playing Cordosis, which is my most anticipate. You know what? Whatever. We raided Psycho yesterday. Who says you can't hype, you can't raid someone again on their birthday? Let's go say hi to Psycho. Um, he's doing, he's literally playing my favorite game at the moment. It's not even done yet, but I love this fucking game, dude. The, the game he's playing... It's like I'm eagerly awaiting the release of Cordosis because it's like so incredible. The, the graphics are awesome. The um, you're gonna hear Psycho for a second here. Where is he? 
Oh, he's in the ending. Okay, we gotta go fast. We gotta go fast, guys. He's about to see the ending. Uh, go check it out. I'll see you guys around. 